not again. <coughs> How is everybody doing on this fantastic fucking Sunday? Happy fucking Easter, Chad. Happy Easter. Everybody that celebrates Easter, happy Easter. Have you got some Easter bunny eggs and went to your Sunday church mass or whatever you celebrate, however you celebrate Easter with your family? Hope it's been going great. I am wildly hungover. I am fucking, I am, that is why I am late. I was supposed to be live at noon. Uh, I was supposed to be live at noon on Easter. Uh, it's 1.30. I basically just, I went live almost my regular fucking time. Um... I, I'm not even, I, dude. I fucking, I I drank the, I drank all all day, all day yesterday. It was uh from fucking start to finish. I it was it was it's today Sunday and I I didn't realize that until I started streaming. Today's Easter, dude. Uh yeah no it was fucking dude. If you weren't here for yesterday's stream, it was a fucking crazy one. Uh we played uh Block Wars tournament. My whole team got drunk. Uh, and then after that, I played Beerio Kart. Somebody's just spamming your mute. Dude, come on, bruh. Come on. Come on, bruh. Kick that kid. Fuck, dude. L ass chatter, buddy. What is this, 2015? What is this, 2015? What are you doing here, man? Just fucking yapping. My God. Anyways, um... I have 18 cream eggs in my room. What should I do with them? The Cadbury cream eggs? Do you guys like those? I fucking hate those. Like, they're so mid. Somebody said react to tea nickels. Dude, we've talked about that like 50 times. Like, we have talked about that like 50. Chat, am I wrong? Somebody just said you look racist. What are with these shit-ass chatters today, buddy? What the fuck? Ban him. Anyways, no for real. Why are you guys agreeing? Anyways, wildly hungover today. Uh, I need I need to say that. I can somebody unpin this. It's not unpinning on my end. Can somebody unpin the live in fifteen that I have mods? Anyways, uh, finish the tournament right. Uh, won that shit, by the way. W Block Wars, W Joe Bart win four times. Four times. Two regular Block Wars win. Wins. One Rookies win and one Chaos win. Fucking back-to-back -back win here. Two wins in a row. It's great, right? Fives are immaculate on the Block Wars end. Anyways, we finished the tournament. And my, my friends are like, yo, we should, like, play Birio Kart. And I'm like, Okay, so they they all come over and we set up the switch, right? And if you don't know what Beerio Kart is, it's Mario Kart, but you have to chug an entire beer before you're done your race. And every other race, you have to drink an entire beer. And you play four races in a series, or four, you drink four beers in a series in a span of like 20 minutes. And so I was drinking some of the old leftover IPAs I had, not really thinking about what percentage they were. I was just like, oh, it's beer, dude. I read the, I read the, per keep in mind, the average beer is like three to 5%. I'm looking at the beers that I've been drinking, like three in, 6.5%. 6.2, I'm like, dude. Then we start taking screwball shots, and then it was just over from there, dude. I fucking hopped on the online betting account. I hopped on the all crazy time was calling my name. It's a fun game, Chad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was a fun game. I hopped on crazy time. You, you spin a wheel, and if it lands on something, it's like, it's like a cooler version of roulette. I hop on crazy time. Didn't land on crazy time one time. Lost it all. They didn't lose it. I lost it all, meaning lost everything I put in there. Disabled my account. Literally, permanently, dis in, in a moment of clarity. In a moment of clarity when I was fucking gambling at 2 in the morning on fucking Discord. I said, dude, this is so cringe. Dis it permanently. Dis I can't even use it. I can't even make the account again. Permanently disabled the account. I can't even, I can't even use it. Even if I wanted to. I was just like, I was like, wow, drunk me really locked in there. Just fucking, just fucking removed it. 
make a new email, buddy, it's associated with your ID. <laughs> it's gambling. You can't just make, make a new email. It's not a Twitch account. That does nothing. You can't. It's, it's, it's linked to you as a person. Making a new account does nothing. You can't make a new account. You're only allowed one account. How are you going to make a fucking new account? You're a per you're one person. Kahina for the sub jacks of the three. Thanks for reacting to my son's video. Tallest kid. We're huge fans. Dub. Uh, what the, uh, the 12 year old that was like six, five or some, or some crazy, <laughs> some crazy thing like that. Dude's taller than me. And he's, I'm like a decade older than him. Preston for the four. That is crazy. Uh, but I'm glad to react to the video. I'm, I'm glad that you guys like my content. Uh, did you ever play Getting Over It? Uh, like once. Jixie, Mr. Booby, or Bo Bobby, not Booby. Bobby for the sub, Dominic for the four. There's this girl I really like and I want to take to prom. She follows me on Insta, but I don't know if she knows me or goes to my school. Do you have any advice? Bro, you want to take her to prom, but you've never had any conversation with her ever? My advice would be talk to the person, you know? Uh, you want to take her to prom, but you've never, you don't, you've never even met her, right? How are you, how do you think that's going to go? Somebody said you're lagging. Chad, am I lagging? Bro said, dog, you're lagging. Wait, you're, wait, you're lagging. Get this kid out of my fucking chat. Jordan uh, Long, Austin Killer, Reaper, I Burnt, Dylan, The Cookie, Snipe, Nate, GG, Nexer, McClowns for the sub, Rex Arena for the five, Hangover Who, Alcohol Who, we tanked that shit. This apple saved my life. That's what really helped me with the hangover. But chat, what is that? What is this red shit? It's not blood. But it's like in the apple and it makes me not want to eat it anymore. You ever bite into a chicken wing? And you have, like, you're eating the chicken wing and you're really enjoying it. And then you bite, like, a veiny piece and it's really bloody and you're, like. And then you don't want to eat, you don't want to eat them anymore. Oh, it's fucking awful, dude. Yeah, it's mold. Dude, how would there be blood on the apple, chat? You're just saying it's blood. Rex reading for the fucking, uh, five... We'll achieve the reality. Rachel Fire for the sub floating for the three. Happy Easter to you, Americans. I'm hungover again. Fact 28. The human body contains enough iron to make a small nail, approximately four grams in total. Don't we have gold in our bodies, too? Feeling and Johnny for the sub teal for the three. For the five, happy Easter. Thank you for being the best streamer on Twitch. Thank you. Glove and JP for the sub Azur for the three, uh, 79. Ever listen to Ken Carson? No. Glove for the 300 biddies. Preston for the four. Uh, the Giant for the three. Would you ever play Batman Arkham Knight? And yes, I already sent it in the game session tab. Uh, no. Uh, I've already looked into that game. Doesn't seem like my chat would like it. Little Chief for the three. My chat meaning broad amount of people. I'm not saying you. Obviously, you want me to play it. Been sub for 17 months. You've been such a stress lever for me every time I tune in. Just want to say thank you every day. You impact people and make them feel better without even realizing it. Thank you. Happy Easter, big man. Happy Easter to you as well. Chat, it's a fucking react day. We're going to give a little rundown of the reacts. But first, schedule update. Today's reacts, we're going to be running like a three, three and a half hour react day. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing unbans first, animal tier list second on what animals I could beat in a fight. We're not doing Hoophobia tomorrow with other streamers. We're going to be doing that either this Thursday or next Thursday. Tuesday, not live. Wednesday, scary games. Thursday, still Rainbow Six and Doki Doki, but maybe Hoophobia after that. Friday reacts, Saturday is ready or not, and Sim Games and Sundays reacts. That's the schedule for the fucking week, chat. Lock in. And next Monday, we're going to do uh, Man of Madon. Oh, this is one video that I wanted to show you guys. Um, it's really stupid, and I thought it was very comical two days ago. Uh, about 3 a.m., uh, I, I was in my comatose state about to fall asleep, and I was watching a kangaroo running on YouTube, and I thought it was very fascinating. Center for the sub. Then we actually have our first video of the day. Seven days stranded on an island. New Mr. Beast video. I haven't seen it yet. I serve $1 sushi at a five-star restaurant. The worst types of TikTokers. How Neuralink will change society forever. Krabby Daddy, a Carton Arcs video. I haven't watched one of those in a while. I tested one-star celebrity chef restaurants and the last video, Easter short horror film. Uh, but I want to show you guys this video first because I thought it was fucking hilarious. Uh, the, the, the kangaroo is trying to race, um, 
is trying to race this car. Also, uh, let me, can I just add that a kangaroo really does look like the dumbest fucking animal I ever. Uh, why, why are they, why are they the way they are? What is the, what is the benefit of being a kangaroo? You know, like why did evolu, why evolutionary, evolutionarily do they have really short arms and then, like, like hoppy legs. They don't, like, run. You know, it would make sense if they ran. If they had the two legs and they ran. Alongside. But he hops. And he gets really tired really fast. Look. Look at that. There's the kangaroo rooster jumping. Looking tired, though. So I best not terrorize this poor bugger anymore. I know what's about to happen. I'm just going to keel over in a minute. Why don't you just stop and then I'll go past? That's 20 kilometers an hour. It doesn't look to be trying that hard. Oh. <laughs> doesn't look to be trying that hard. Oh. Bro just fucking face plants. Just actually eats shit. Oh my god. Hard. Look at that. Oh. Right on the ground. That's why they... Why... Why are... Dude, it, I don't understand how it aids them. That they're like this. Like, what's the benefit of ha of looking like a kangaroo? 20 kilometers an hour. It doesn't look to be trying that hard. Oh. You could outrun a kangaroo? I don't know if you could outrun a kangaroo. I, they're probably pretty quick in short sprints. How fast can kangaroo... They can run 43 miles an hour. I fuck. I'm calling fucking cap. I'm calling fucking cap. The red kangaroo can run 44 miles an hour. Get the fuck out of here, buddy. I would out. Oh, it's this one. Nah, that's okay. No, but this one, this one looks like it could fucking bolt, dude. This one's huge or not huge, tiny. Gox for the fucking five gifted subs. Thank you, but if you get a sub, thank you for the five gifted. KZ for the sub. Chris for the three. Are you going live normal times this week because of spring break? What do you mean? I'm still going to be going live to EST on weekends, 430 weekdays. Not everybody's on spring break. Center and Cox, or Gox for the sub. Bree for the thousand biddies. Keep up the grind. Thank you. Floating for the three. Very stereotypical, but there's actually two kangaroos outside of my window right now. Dude, just like j chat. Just imagine living in Australia. Like, you know, do, do you guys have deer where you live? Like, we have deer in the U.S. in the Northeast. Like, imagine living in Australia and instead, why are people saying, huh, and what? Imagine, why are people saying, huh, and what? What did I say? Did I say something? Why are people, okay, now you're just saying, huh, and what to confuse me more. Bitch, can somebody explain? Bro said, do you have deer? Plebsy said, you're being weird, Joe. Shut the fuck up, Plebsy. People are just spamming, huh, and what? I, you guys are pissing me off. <sighs> I'm ignoring you guys. I'm ignoring my chat. Anyways, anyways, I'm going to keep yapping. Um, If you have deer where you live, like, it's pretty casual that you're driving down the road and you see deer, right? Like, you, a deer might run across the road or something. Bro, imagine being in, like, a rural Australian neighborhood, like, floating, looking out your window and seeing a fucking six-foot kangaroo just fucking... Just jumping around and shit. I'd be like, this is... I feel like I'm not... I'm not... It's, this is in real life. Like, it's normal for... That would freak out. Like, I, it I would be scared, but I would be like, dude, what the hell is happening right now? They scratch people's faces off and are very strong. So if you could say you beat one in a fight on Monday, I'm telling you you're wrong. Bro, I'm going to I'm gonna say if I fight, we'll get into it Monday. If I fought a kangaroo a hundred times to the death, I'm winning 20 of those fights. I'm winning 20 of them. 20. 80 of them, I'm getting pummeled. I'm dying. 
I think that's a fair 20% of the time I'm winning. That's so cap. They drown and kick people. What do you mean they drown do they drown dogs for fun? Kangaroos drown dogs for fun? What are they fucking what are they Ted Bundy, a fucking serial killer? They drown pets for fun. What do you mean? Like they'll grab someone's dog and fucking shove it in a pool? Google it. Why do I not why am I just now f finding this out? So if you go outside in Australia, like you're in danger if you're around a kangaroo. Like I'm not scared of a deer, bro. I walk up they'll fucking bolt on you. They're not even going to they're not even going to get near you. Search it up. I don't want to Google a kangaroo drowning a pet dog. That's crazy. Brunsky for the sub. Fluffy is for the three. You misread, you misread somebody's name as cock. It was Gox. They were spamming Han. What? Glove for the 750 bets. Uh, Brunsky for the sub. Catra for the five. Would you ever consider playing more dark anthology based games? Yeah. Dude, those are my favorite games. I've played all of them other than Man of Madon. That's why we're playing Man of Madon Monday. Those were fantastic games just to watch in general. If you have any other games that are similar to those, send them in the game session tab. I'm going to be doing Beyond Two Souls uh, soon too, which is also like those games. They're my favorite games. The best one was definitely The Quarry. And then probably Little Hope. Mac for the three. As somebody who lives in South Australia, you'll get killed if you fight a kangaroo. Lemon for the three. What's your take on Biden changing Easter to Transgender Day? Is that is that true? I, I haven't fucking seen that. Biden changed Easter to Transgender Day. How do does he even have the legality? Like is that a legal that's you can't just legally change. Oh, he made it a national holiday. I mean, they just fall on the same day. Dude, you gotta, you gotta remember, if you look up what national day it is, like, 50 days show up. What, what holidays is it today? It's Easter, Anesthesia Day, uh, Cesar Chavez Day, Crayola Crayon Day, Dance Marathon Day, Hug a Medievalist Day, Eiffel Tower Day, National Baked Ham with Pineapple Day, National Crayon Day, National Clams on a Half Shell Day, National Bunsen Burner Day, National Farm Workers Day, National She's, the, She's Funny That Way Day, National Tater Tot Day, National Prom Day, National Terry's Day, uh, National Transgender Day of Visibility, National Transfer Day. Um, dude, there's like 40 holidays every fucking day. Like, I, I feel like people don't realize that. Yeah, no, there's a lot of random ass holidays too. National Baked Ham with Pineapple? Who the fuck made that a fucking holiday? What? National Baked Ham with Pineapple Day. Why do we have a national holiday for fucking Baked Ham with Pineapple? I've never even had that in my entire life. Why is that a fucking holiday? National Dance Marathon Day. That makes more sense. Like, you could do... What, What I'm just supposed to bake a fucking ham with pineapple today? What's tomorrow? National Take Down Tobacco. Uh, National Boomer Bonus. National Dingus Day. Fo Fossil Fools. April Fools. Library Snapshot Day. Oh my god. Like, what are these? Some of these holidays don't e aren't even fucking holidays. National Nickelodeon Anniversary Celebration Day. Perish for the sub, ants for the sub. Plebsy for the three. Why would anybody would willingly... Why would anyone willingly live in Australia? Well, I mean, historically, they used to send prisoners to Australia. You got those big-ass spiders, weird random bugs everywhere, and kangaroos that apparently drown dogs. Lemon for the three. Like, historically, they used to they used to just ship prisoners to Australia. Which is why you can make the comical joke that Australians are descendants of prisoners. However, that's kind of fucked, right? And also not true of all Australians. And it's not, like, bad prisoners most of the time. Earlier on, they used to send, like, murderers and shit. 
But like then it was like petty crimes. They would just send you to Australia. Like imagine, imagine be like when did they do that? Probably like the 1700s. I'm just guessing. Imagine like robbing a local bakery in like the UK, and they're like, "All right, all right, you think you're all that, eh?" And then they just send you to fucking Australia. They ship you to fucking Australia. And and then you and then you you walk on the beach, right? And you're used to like green pastures and shit. And then you fucking stand in Australia and there's a fucking ten foot spider. And and a can and a kangaroo that looks like a deer with like short limbs. And then, uh, like, all these other random creepy animals. And then there's, like, spiders and fucking snakes everywhere. Yeah, no. For the If there's any chatters in my chat being transphobic, fucking time them out or ban them. Ruben for the sub, CD for the three. People saying L Biden makes me feel upset as a trans mask, and it's like people can't grasp that Visibility Day and a national a national day are different. Easter falls on different days every year, so it's not like he changed Easter. Chatters need to grow up. True. Pickle for the five. You're my favorite streamer. Parrish and Ansu for the sub. Yeah, Easter's not always March 31st. I feel like it's never March 31st. Isn't it always in April? When? How do they determine when Easter is? When is Easter every year how do they determine when it's always between the first sunday after the full moon that occurs on or after the spring equinox so it's based on the moon cycle i feel like last year easter was like a week and a half from now official thank you for the five gifteds thank them for uh thank them if you got to stop thank you for the five gifteds ruben and cd uh thank you for the fucking uh the three in the sub Pickle for the three. All right. Chat, lock in. First video of the day. Seven days stranded on an island. Mr. Beast video. Well, came out yesterday. Normally, we watch it on the day that it comes out. However, we had the Block Wars tourney, so now we're watching it today. Lock in. Lock in. This deserted island in the... That is so fucking loud. Middle of the ocean, and we're gonna be stranded here for the next seven days. And that boat that just left was our only way out of here. Why do we keep doing this? I thought it'd be fun. Despite its beauty, civilization has not been able to survive on this island for over 250 years. But for the next seven days, we're gonna try to. And we only have around four hours until it gets dark. Yo, if y'all just washed up on a stranded island, how many days do you think you would survive till you fucking died? I'd give myself like a week. Two weeks. Somebody said killing myself instantly. You're not even going to try. You're not even going to try, right? Maybe there's like just melons and easy wild fruit in the middle of the island that you could just eat. You just wake up on the island and you're like, wow, well, I guess it's over. You fucking just start, you just start killing. You just immediately just jump off the tallest point. Like, four days. It's really whether or not you get clean water. How do you get clean water? I don't know. You know what makes no sense to me? I used to watch Naked... Anybody else used to watch Naked and Afraid? Number one, that show needs its own episode. I feel like I gotta do a whole ramble fucking YouTube video about that fucking show. Wild. Right? That show's a scam? Oh, it's a scam, and it's fucking weird, too. They, like, they're, they just show up... Like, the whole point is that they're, it, it's, they're just butt-ass naked. And they, like, never make clothes the, the, the whole time. They meet, and they're like, hi. Well, this is awkward, isn't it? And they just, like, stare at each other's genitals. And they're trying to not, like, they, they like it's, dude. Oh, my God. Just give them, like, why can't we just give them, like, some Adam and Eve type, like, you know, lit, like, I know Adam and Eve were, like, naked, but then, like, they knew about their bodies, and then when they covered themselves, it's, like, leaves, bro, just, like, put some, like, Amazonian-esque, like, leaf clothes, you know, they do make clothes, way too late, though, it's not, like, the first day they make clothes, it's, like, fucking week two, 
they're like, okay, I guess it's time to make some shoes. I guess it's time to make some shoes. And then he and then he still got his fucking dick and balls just hanging out, swaying in the wind, dude. I'm like, come on. Fucking, you know, cover yourself up here, buddy. And then what really annoys me, and then this is what my rant was going to. How do they determine what's clean water? Because sometimes they'll boil water, and I know that's how you get it safe or whatever. You fucking kill the bacteria in there or some shit. Dude. They'll, they'll be like, it'll be like, I know running water is technically safe, but not all running water is safe. Because I watched one episode where a guy was like, oh, this water's surely fine. Six days later, he was in a, almost in a coma. He drank water out of a fucking stream, right? And then six days in, he's like. And they evac him in a helicopter. Because he was going to die. Like, what? How do you deter... No, but then then there's other episodes where like, oh, here's running water, and it's like, fine. And they determine it, it's rainwater? Bro, I, 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 I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand what running water is safe and what running water is not, because there is some running water that's fine to drink, and others have bacteria. What the fuck? Mason for the sub, Brunsky for the three. Yesterday's stream was insane, especially the lucky at the end. You should have gone to the casino after rock, paper, scissors streak. Buddy, I gambled last night and I lost I lost lost everything I put in, man. Uh Nason and Eban for the sub. Pedro for the sub. Casey for the three. I've been doing jujitsu. Have you ever thought about doing it or giving any other martial arts a try? I wanted to learn jujitsu. But I know like I don't I have the time for that. Rusty for the sub, Ruben for the three. You're the best streamer, Ruben for the sub. It's hot out here. We need to build a shelter immediately. I mean, why don't we just- E. coli can be in any water source, so it's best to boil any water out in the wild. This camp here, this spot looks pretty good. So, I said- You know what else had E. coli? That lettuce in, what was it, Panera? Or was it Chipotle or some shit? I don't know. We kick things off by us going and looking for wood, and you two will prep camp. Yes. Have fun with that. Come on, Sean. Come on, Chandler. How do we prep camp? You know, I don't know. And so we immediately got to work, but we had to be careful because above you is the most dangerous tree on earth. It contains poisonous tree sap that could literally kill you. Why are we still standing here? And meanwhile, Nolan and Mac were making a fire pit. It's definitely if you like ingest it. I'd say it's a pretty good fire, would you say? Well, it's not a fire yet. Well, I'd say it's a pretty good fireplace. And Sean started constructing the frame for our shelter. Are you sure that's not gonna fall on us? Yep. I feel like Sean's like a survival dad. Dude, this seems so fun though. Like I would love to I would love to do this without the risk of death, you know? Like how they're doing it. Cause if they really need help, they could like call someone. It's been called worse. And while gathering some more material Like the survivor shit, like when they start making shelters, I'm like, oh, this seems so fun. Materials, we came across some wildlife on the island. Oh, look at these chickens over here. Hey, wait, stop running away. And it wasn't long until I found out. Jimmy's like, all right, guys, who's going to who's gonna grab him? Why the chickens? He fucking snaps its neck. He's like, all right, guys, I'm going to... Just fucking tears its fucking head off, starts drinking its blood. We're afraid of us. Hey, what are we doing over here? Ah. Uh, Wait, what is that? Uh, oh, it's a knife. Were yeah. you going to try to kill one of those chickens? Please let me... Are you going to try and kill one of those chickens? <laughs> this is how you really do it. Douses himself in it, starts saying this weird, like, seance shit. Dude, nobody would bat an eye. I'd be like, wow, that's just Mr. Beast, you know? People there would be like there'd be like one guy that would be like, God, don't you think that's like a little like demonic? Like maybe he did sell his soul or something to get fame. I'm yapping right now. I'm making no sense. Eat a chicken. We don't kill chickens. Jimmy, what did you eat for dinner before you got here? Don't ask. <laughs> we spent the rest of day one preparing our camp, which was pretty simple. I'm gonna show you guys around the camp. This is the fire and where we're gonna make food. Come over here. And this is where we sleep. That concludes the tour. We pulled over our survival crate, which contains food, water, and most importantly- Bro, that's fucking cheating. It's why are we- why are we doing that, Jimmy? Surviving on a stranded island, but we have an unlimited amount of Mr. Beast bars if I get fucking hungry. A flare in case someone gets hurt. And by the time the sun went down, we had every- Flare in case somebody gets hurt. Jimmy, if somebody gets hurt, you put him out of their misery. Nolan breaks his leg, you fucking hit him in the head with a rock. And then cut him up. 
thing figured out. And, and then that's your food for the week. Except one thing. If he gets injured, he's done. Okay? It's like putting a horse down. Wait, hold up. Isn't sunscreen flammable? <laughs> it's the end of day one, and I'm already starting to get a little sunburn. I'm hoping to get some good sleep tonight, and I hope it doesn't rain. Dude, that'd be so... Are you, how is Nolan not sunburned? That motherfucker packed... His mom made him pack fucking 100 SPF. You already know that shit, too. Nolan, Nolan's the type of guy to fucking be out in the sun for 10 minutes and be blood red like a tomato. Tomorrow, we need to build a bigger shelter, and by we... I mean, Dad over there is going to build a bigger shelter. I got you. I got you. Oh. 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 Jimmy, you're like mom. Sean's dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go to bed. I'll see you on day two. During the first night of sleep, we tossed and turned a lot. Did you hear about the My Fellow Arab situation? Yeah. How he got kidnapped by, uh, like, a cartel or some shit. Dude, that's like, I've always said. Uh, whenever we watch videos where there's people that are, like, traveling to, like, fucking, like, sketchy areas, I'm always like, dude. Do you believe that? Do I believe that he got kidnapped? Yeah. And is being held for ransom? Yeah. He's a fucking YouTuber that... He's like one of those travel YouTubers that always goes to like dangerous areas. He got freed? Well, that's good. Dude, but that's what I'm saying. Like nobody... It's always like YouTubers that are like, Yo, this is the most dangerous place in the... I don't know why I'm giving him an accent, but I'm going to do it anyway. It'll be a YouTuber. Be like, this is the most dangerous place in the world. Ten people die in this block alone every day. And then they're just, like, walking alone casually with, like, a $5,000 camera in their hand. Just, like, just unaware of, like, the surroundings. And then one, like, and then he got kidnapped. He's actually more cautious. But he always does the really dangerous shit. And then he got kidnapped by a fucking uh, group of, I think, Haitian, like, gang leaders or something. And they wanted $600,000 to free him. Jeez. You think they got it? And from who? Like, how does that work? Does the government, does the government pay, pay that? Like, if I got, say, say I'm in fucking some random country. And some, somebody kidnaps me. And they hold me at ransom for a million dollars. Is the U.S. government paying for that ransom? Zazel for the sub, Ruben for the four. Watch this video and it's good, but you make it better. Fluffy is for the three. A little personality test for you. Are the type? Are you the type to leave your PC on for multiple days or turn it off when you're not using it? I turn it off. I don't know how people leave their PC on all the time. I my PC is only on if I'm actively using it. If I go to take a shit, I'll turn my PC off. Dreamer and Flash and Malco for the sub, which that I think is just extra. But like, if I'm going to take a shit, I'll leave, I'll, I'll I'll turn my PC off. But I'll leave my TV on for, like, six days straight. That's always on. That's never not on, right? The TV's constantly playing. And that's another thing, another side rant here. We're never going to get through this fucking video. Another side rant. How do you, you, ever, you ever think about the fact that, like, the people who buy TV ads are being, like, fooled by how many people are watching it? Right? Because it's really how many TVs are on. How many TVs are on that channel? And right now, how many how many TVs do you think are, like, on Channel 6 News and no one's watching it? Four million. I think there are, like, an obscene amount of... I think there are so many TVs on right now that no one's even in the room. And it's, and it's, it's playing the fucking show. And it's rolling these ads. And these companies are like, oh, yeah, it's getting this many views. Oh, my God. No, it's not. It's probably getting like, yeah, 60% of the of the views that it says it's getting are actually people that are watching it. The other 40% are just TVs that are on. Chief and Zazel for the sub. Ruben for the five. Can you say happy birthday for my sister Darcy? She's turning 12. We always watch your streams or YouTube. Well, happy birthday. Um, Hold up. Brooke said, love you. Aw, aw, aw. Hold up. Okay. Locked back in. Mighty for the three. Have you played Last of Us 2 yet? If not, will you? No, uh, and no. Cat's Roof for the three. Have you ever thought, uh, if you have any other games you want me to play or videos you want me to react to, though, exclamation point Discord. Bob's been the Discord link. 
If you have any videos you want me to react to or games you want me to play, send them there. It's how I find most of the videos that I watch the games that I play. Kashi for the three. Have you ever thought that some people may be colorblind and have no idea they were raised to know certain colors? As yes. If you were colorblind and you were raised to know something as not colorblind in the sense of mixing up colors because they look similar, but like, chat, what color is this? It's not even colorblind necessarily. This is like a yellowish green. We all call it yellow, but your yellow might look like my blue. But you grew up as a kid going, that's yellow, right? That's yellow. But your eyesight might see it differently that we have really no way of knowing. I mean, realistically, that's probably pretty unlikely just because of how biologically our fucking eyes work. Um, but, you know, you never know. And by we, I mean me. So, it was a good thing we were fixing this the next day. The objective for day two is simple. We need to build a bigger and rainproof shelter. We need more comfortable seats because my butt hurts. And we need a better fire pit. Is that Chandler still sleeping? <laughs> bigger and rainproof shelter. We need more comfortable seats because my butt hurts. And we need a better fire pit. My butt Chandler's gassed right now, but he ate a 400 milligram nerds rope. He's just chilling in the back of the stream just... Uh, also hurts. We're looking for very long, sturdy. Imagine he just doesn't move. Like that night, they come back and he's just still in the same spot. I probably think he's dead. We can put across the top of our shelter. That way, when it rains, I instead know, of it drooping in the leaves and tarp, it flows off the back. And while we were busy gathering resources for our new shelter, Mac and Nolan were busy looking for new seats. Do you see that? Yeah. What's that orange thing? I mean, you can use it as like a bouncy seat. Dude, it's a buoy. Oh, dude, there's a net. We can use the net to catch chickens. <laughs> okay, I'm going to voice something that bothers me. When people wear socks on a beach, and I see it all too often, and I know some people don't like having their feet out or something, whatever, right? That's, I'm not going to make fun of that. But when people just enjoy, I hate the sand, bro, but you're, you have your fucking soggy ass wet socks. You have your, you're wearing your soggy ass wet socks and you're just, you're just mushing through the sand. Ugh. Ugh. Dude. Somebody said, grow up. Me or them? Dude, that's just, I, I just, it has to be so uncomfortable. You're saying you don't, it's like a massage? It's not a massage, bro. Just fucking barefoot hug the sand. I, I get people walking in the sand with shoes on more than I understand people wearing just socks. Just socks. Like, and just fucking mushing around and shit. Ooh, ah! A lot of bugs! A lot of bugs! A lot of bugs! Like, that doesn't bother me. He's got, like, Crocs on or these, like, little hiker shoes. No! Oh, a lot of bugs! A lot of bugs! A lot of bugs! Jimmy, we found an ocean buoy. It's like a bouncy seat. Did you steal this? No. Or when people wear... Okay, another thing. Not making fun of it for some people for their... For, like, if you have an insecurity or something. I'm saying, personally, I could never wear a shirt in the water. The feeling of a wet t-shirt hugging my skin makes me want to rip my fucking eyes out of my head. I want to peel my skin off. It's so, oh my god. It feels nice. No, it does not. And, and it's like, it's just sopping wet and it's like sticking to you. Maddie for the five gift, it's eight for the sub. Thank them if you got to stop. Thank you for the five gifts, Maddie. Your mom for the three. Can you play wrong floor? Send it in the game session tab. Did, Did he steal it? It washed up on a beach. I guess that's not stealing. Oh. Taking it off is so hard. Dude, you know what's... You, the most impossible task is putting on socks when your feet are damp. That shit's like a mission. That is nice. Okay, I'll take it. For the rest of the day, Chandler, Sean, and I finished upgrading the shelter. Keep going, keep going. There's still sun in here, but it's because the sun's super low. 90% of the time, this will be shade now. While Mac and Nolan got coconuts. All right, be careful. It's a big knife. Can you get really bad diarrhea from, like, drinking coconut water or something? Is it coconut milk or water? I don't know. 
No. Uh, <laughs> good. And of course, tried to catch chickens. Hey, chickens! Run! Run! Run away! What are you doing? All right, I saved them. Day two is coming I'm to- I'm 100% killing one of those chickens. Dude, oh my god. We're surviving on an island, but we have all the food we already need! Kill a chicken, Mr. Beast. Execute one. You gotta pluck its feathers, throw it in a pot. To an end, how would you say it was? I'm tired, but I'm doing good. Nolan? Fantastic. I think we can all agree we are doing- Chat, which Mr. Beast cast member would you eat in a survival scenario? Of the main cast, probably Jimmy. Nolan don't got a lot of meat on him. Neither does Chris or Chandler. Ah, Chandler's got big legs. N eating Nolan's gonna be like eating just chicken, like chicken wings. He got meat on him, but it's not like, it's not gonna be a lot. You know, you're gonna have to kill somebody else. This is a fucked up question. Dude, come on. It's a hypothetical, dude. You're stranded on an island with the Mr. Beast crew. Which one are you eating in a in a survival scenario? You mean Christina? It's still Chris, right? She just changed her name from C-H-R-I-S to K-R-I-S. Am I crazy? I think it's Chris, but just with a K. Nolan? Fantastic. I think we can all agree we are- Oh, Chris is her middle name now? What's her first name? doing way better than we thought we would but little did i know later that night things were about to get a whole lot worse but for now if you're wondering why we're in the ocean look at chandler because it's the only way for us to shower we need our other water for cooking and yo straight up i just be taking a dump in the water if it's warm enough if it's warm enough i'm just gonna be floating turds i'm not doing some squat shit in the fucking in the in the fucking on a tree, dumping in a hole. I'm just gonna be taking a shit in the water, and then the fish will eat it. You know, not dying of dehydration. What are you on? What do you mean, dude? You literally just sit in the water and just shit. <laughs> and then it's like you don't gotta, you don't gotta wipe your ass. You don't gotta do anything. You just fucking. It's the most sanitary. You just leave, right? What would bother me, though, is, like, it, say I'm taking a long shit and the fish start biting at my ass and stuff because they know I'm taking a dump. That would bother me. That would bother me. I've seen hippos. I've seen video. I, I've watched nature documentaries a lot, and I've seen hippos take a dump in the water and the fish start, like, biting at their ass. Oh, no. I wouldn't be able to do that. That's when I would start swatting at them. I'm like, dude, come on. Let me get my business done. You want to know what I noticed, boys? What's that? They don't float back to you? Yeah, that would bother me if it was like, if I'm like, say I'm like neck, de neck deep and I'm taking a shit and then I just like see the turd just like slowly. I'd be like, ugh. I just move. The current would help. You're last in death for the sub, Hayden for the three. Says love you, Joe. Uh, Blaze for the three. You should play Choo Choo Charles one day. Have a good Easter. Thank you. Uh, hover for the sub, Ellie for the three. I feel like Choo Choo Charles, though, was really hype and everybody played it. And at this point, like, everyone's seen the gameplay. We had 10 cartons of water, and now we're down to six. It's day two. I know. I'm going to be the adult here and just say it. Everyone needs to be more responsible with their water consumption. Somebody said, Joe, I'm eating. And you know what? The other half of my stream is taking a dump right now. I agree. Wait, what are we agreeing to? Sean, I agree for you. Uh, okay, perfect. It's also dark. We need to go to bed. In case you didn't piece it together, that guy, Mac, is the guy that lost money in this video and this video. He's basically lost $1.5 million on the channel in the last two months. It's a harsh way to introduce somebody. Even though we upgraded our shelter, the second night of sleep was worse than the first. We didn't know it, but this island was infested with bugs that ended up biting us. Yo, didn't he lose again? Did he give him money? I forget. I don't remember if Mr. Beast gave him money for losing. But I remember you lost on the cookie cutter thing twice. It's all throughout the night. And for whatever reason, Jalen and I got the worst of it. I got no sleep last night. Probably the most miserable thing I've ever done. Look how many bug bites I have on just my hand alone. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. And while we caught up on some much needed sleep, you can probably guess what the boy- Nolan the type of guy to get a rare disease on a, on a stranded island. 
Nolan, the type of dude where when you're when you're on a stranded island with him, you turn over and his face is the size of a fucking bowling ball, and his eyes are swollen shut, and you're like, dude, what happened? He's like, oh, a bug, a bug, a bug, a bug, a bug bit you where? On your face, and it's like he like can't talk. <laughs> Always we're gonna do without supervision. Catch chickens. No, let's catch fish. So yesterday, over by uh, that debris on the beach, me and Nolan found a bunch of net. Today, the boys are gonna help me make a chicken trap. The plan is basically to put a giant net right here, tie it to a string up there, and then <laughs> catch a chicken. Let's go. Now, if I was awake to stop them, this never would have happened. But given the fact that I felt like I was literally dying in this moment, the boys were officially going rogue. That is strong net. Is I that could just catch a chicken with my fucking hands, dude. How fast can those fuckers run? Is it that hard to catch a chicken? I've always wanted to do pig wrestling. I think that'd be so fun to, like, oil up a pig, and then I just have to grab it, you know? Like, that would be so fun. Just, I, you just start, you gotta chase them, and they're, like, slippery, so you can't catch them. They're like, arr, 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 and he's fucking running around and shit. What do you mean, hey, yo? Chat, that's, like, an actual thing. Bro, oh, my God, because I said oil up. Hold up. Oiled up pig. Gre it's a greased up pig. Yeah, dude, it's like a, they have, like, contests. And they have ones where kids gotta chase them, too. <laughs> And they're all slippery. Alright, the pigs are at a disadvantage here. There's too many people. You need, like, one person to one pig. I think I could be pretty good at that. I think I would catch the pig pretty quick. Why aren't they pink? Not all pigs are pink, bro. What? There we go. Over the next 30 minutes or so, the boys cut the net into- That's like you saying all cows have to be, like, white and black. You know they have, like, black cows, brown cows, white cows, spotted cows. There's, like, a bunch of different types of- types of cows. And then colors of cows. A perfect square. They then hoisted the rope up Bro just said, no way. Yo, I- I can't help- Yo, chat, I really can't help but think how some of y'all are, like, alive right now. Like, I- bro- I know I'm an idiot in some ways, but, like, motherfuckers didn't know that there's other types of cows. There's, like, mushroom cows. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, there's mushroom cows. That's real. That's a, They modeled that off of real life. There's cows that have mushrooms, and if you trim them, you can make mushrooms, too, from Minecraft. For the tree, tied the rope to all four corners, and it was ready. <laughs> yeah, and the, the brown cows make chocolate milk. That works. That's pretty nice. So after a quick reset and placing some bait, it was time to catch a chicken. What is this? Trap to catch chickens with? Can I see the rope? No, you cannot. Is that what you guys were doing this whole time? Yeah. yeah. I thought you were doing something actually productive. I'll be honest. At first, this seemed like a complete waste of time. Because for the next three hours, they waited and waited. But for some reason, Mac in particular was not ready to give up. And finally, after even more waiting... <laughs> you think he's gonna kill him? Keep it tight! Keep it tight! Keep it tight! Mac, what is that? Jimmy! I caught it! Oh, this chicken's actually pretty chill. Yeah. Yeah, this chicken's pretty chill. He just bites its head off. This is the new Brian, in honor of the bird from Raft. You know what? With how nice you've been, I'm sure once you put Brian down, it will continue to hang out with us. Put it down. Time to put Brian down. Brian, Brian. no, Brian! What did you do to Brian? I thought he was our friend. All that? All that for them not to kill and eat it? Well, I did catch him with a trap, so... And by the time Brian had been caught and freed, it had gotten significantly less hot outside which honestly gave all of us enough energy for a spontaneous adventure. See that island behind me? We're about to go do it, Mac. Let's do it. Now I know what you're thinking. Why swim away from a perfectly good island to a rock in the middle of the ocean? And honestly... Yo, like, I never understand the idea of, like, not catch and release fishing, but, like, when people go offshore fishing and they catch something and they can't keep it, 
that would bother me. Like, I've been fishing a lot. And it's so much, it's enjoyable, right, just fishing. But if I went fishing and every time I caught a fish, I was like, throw it back in. Then I'd be like, dude, this is like actually pointless. Why can't they keep it? Some fish are out of season or not big enough. Or you just don't, like, if you catch like a shark. Like, I've caught sharks before. You're not going to keep a shark. That's fun. Catching a shark, also terrifying. Oh, my God. There's a lot of laws with fishing. It's like there's seasons with uh, certain fish in time frames where you're allowed to keep them. I don't have a good answer for you. This feels really counterintuitive. I think this is a testament to just how bored we are. Beach fishing's fun. Dude, beach fishing is not fun because the only thing you're going to catch beach fishing is fucking sharks. I've been beach fishing and I've only ever caught sharks. I think that regular fishing in like a lake is fun and then offshore fishing and like river fishing is cool because you could actually catch shit. Feels like we're wasting a lot of water and energy. Man, what are you doing? There are so many fish down there. Really? Yeah. There's a stingray. Look at all those fish. Those waves look really big over there. And they're coming right at us. How the hell do you catch a shark the same way you would catch any other fish? You put bait on the line and the shark eats it because they're stupid. Oh, here comes a big one. We're almost there! <laughs> Look at the island over there in the background. And here we are. Woo! Look at this. We got water splashing on both sides. These are extra slippery rocks. Going up now? Oh, gosh. Oh, this is crazy. What do you do if you catch a shark? Uh, if you catch a shark, it gets... Dude, why? Have you ever caught children? What the hell does that even mean, dude? Um, if you catch a shark, um, you, you just have to release it. Uh, really. I mean, unless you can eat it. There are some sharks that people do eat. But if you catch, like, a random... If you catch, like, a random shark, you're probably just gonna get rid of it. And it's kind of scary because you have to get the lure out of its mouth. And sometimes people just cut the line. But, um, getting a lure out of a shark's mouth is fucking terrifying because they're biting and you're just trying to like fucking wedge something out of their mouth while they're trying to fucking bite your hand off. The cookie for the sub floppy is for the three. According to a survey by the Dairy Association in the U.S., 7% of American adults believe chocolate milk comes from brown cows. No shot. Like that can't be a real statistic. Your last day for the three J80 bets help for the three. You've helped me through my weight loss journey uh, way easier by watching the VODs while I do cardio. Duh. Down 75 pounds. That's fucking great. Jay Lee for the sub. Viper for the three. What's your opinion on Life is Strange games? Uh, never played them. Amir and Juan for the sub. Death, your last day for the sub. Hayden for the three. I think I already read that. All right. Lock back in. Lock back in here, chat. This looks so cool. We did it! I don't know why we did it, but we did! How do we get off this? And then how do we get back to our island? Well, the fastest way off is jumping. I'm not jumping. During our last few hours of sunlight, I felt a couple raindrops. We noticed the storm approaching us on the horizon. When we got on the island, the forecast said it wasn't supposed to rain. There's monster clouds over there we can depress. Let's go, boys. I'm telling you guys. Right. Fix the hut. Oh, no. There's rain coming. Protect our stuff. Get as many palm leaves as you can right now. Taylor, more leaves. And once we ran out of daylight, we huddled up under our new and improved shelter and awaited a night of rain. The worst part about this is the unknown. It's so dark. Uh, using electricity, eh? You can't even see how close the rain is anymore. Turns out we got extremely lucky. The storm ended up just missing us by a hair. But what I can say is, later in this video, we won't be so lucky. Over here, it's Dude, it's literally pouring. Let me hold this up. I just want to go home. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Let me try that again. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. You guys got a case of the Mondays? After four Somebody said North Sentinel Island. Jimmy should go to North Sentinel Island. That would be a video. Four days on the island. He'd probably die. Our morning routine consisted of the following. First, we'd wake up and complain about how bad we slept. Sleeping last night was rough. And then we'd use the bathroom, sometimes together. I'm nervous peeing at the same time as you guys. And then eat yet again a bag meal. We're a little tired of our bag meals, so let's just say... We've got a solution. 
right, this is as far as I go. Have fun. Oh, God. All this for some fish? You have to go very, very far out to actually find fish. The fish aren't going to be in this life. Yay, for the thousand buddies. Love the streams. Jelly Bear, Cuxo for the sub, and the cookie for the sub. Blue water. They're going to be in the dark the blue water out there. So. This is a really good idea, a really bad one. Probably a bad one. The plan was a little dangerous, but simple. Mac is going to act as a human motorboat and drag Sean and Nolan out into the depths of the ocean. And Sean, being the expert survival dad that he is, is going to catch those fish and bring them back to shore for us to eat. You guys got the rope? I also brought around 500 feet of rope that they're tied to. So if at any point they need help, we'll just yank them in. Right, Chandler? Yeah. They're really not that far out. Yeah. Is the rope still good? Yeah, you have plenty of rope. Mac, you do know. Dude, they gotta go to the rocks. Huh? Is Mac literally just pulling them? We should just untie the rope, Mac. Cause that's some dead weight. Hope you don't regret it. Now we have no rope and we're so far away from the beach. There's no way they're not getting seasick out there. Oh, look at that storm. Is that a storm? Boys, we better hurry. That's rain? That's rain. Something tells me this rope snapped somewhere. <laughs> oh, no. Well, you know what we can do? We can start fishing. I wouldn't start fishing yet. He's in the water. Guys! Your rope came off! You see any fish down there? I don't see anything. They're, they're, gonna, they're gonna eat the fish, but they're not gonna fucking kill the chicken. We have the rope! Oh, you got something? Yeah, yeah. Yo, deadass, you know why that is? Because less people would be upset with Jimmy if they fucking killed a fish than a chicken. More people would be upset if they snapped a chicken's neck than caught a fish and just fucking killed it. Because it would be it would be less vulgar. If you uh, to watch that. It's way easier to watch somebody kill a fish than a chicken. Cuz a chicken you fucking you snap its neck. Where you fucking cut its head off. But a fish, I mean, you do the same thing where it just flops around. You hit it with a bat. It's really easy to kill a fish. You just fucking spike it on the ground and it dies. Almost instantly. Hello for the thousand buddies. Uh, Joe, what's your middle name? Weird question. Amina for the sub. Mai for the sub. Oh! Hey! We got a fish! Hold on, hold on. Yeah! Yaden for the sub. <laughs> two hours of fishing and 200 fishes worth of calories burned, all they had to show for it was one fish. Is this fine to eat? Yeah, of course. It literally tastes like fish from a supermarket. I mean, you know where fish from the supermarket come from, right? Where? The ocean. And even though this fish from the ocean was surprisingly good, it was time to eat something a whole lot better. S'mores. 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 First off, you need to burn the bacteria off your stick. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. You seem like you've done s'mores before, Jim. Well, as a man who owns a chocolate company. Oh, Mac! Ah, what are you doing? Oh, oh, God. Oh. You take the Feastables chocolate, scrunch it like that while it's still hot. Look at that. Make sure to try out our new Feastables. That actually does look good. Dude, I hate eating s'mores, though. Shit gets you all fucking dirty. Our people are actually liking it so much, it's sold out in most stores. Don't worry, we're doing our best to restock it as fast as we can. You've never had a s'more in your life until you've had a s'more with Feastables on it. By clockwork, we lay down to go to bed, and it starts raining. Why is it that whenever we do survival videos, it literally only rains when we're trying to sleep? I'd say that was a very successful day four. Yeah, I agree. We caught a chicken, I caught a fish. Here's the three more days of stupidity. Yeah. Ooh. Just woke up, I have no idea what day it is. Stay up. Five. I was about to say that. <laughs> One of the reasons why we picked this island is there's very old houses or ruins, whatever you want to call it, on this island. And even though they're located on top of a mountain, I say today's the day we explore them. I agree. Disagree. Now that we had all agreed to go to the ruins. Somebody said Joe, no commentary. Oh, sorry. Do you want me to butt in every five seconds so then we don't get through the rest of the video? I literally looked at the timer and I went, oh god, I've been live for an hour and fu we're fucking halfway through the first video, so I'm kind of shutting up for a minute here. I'll butt in when I actually want to say something pertinent. Since we wanted to make sure we didn't start this expedition on an empty stomach. And just as we were I've been yapping. Eating our bag breakfast. The second I'm quiet for 10 seconds. Oh, uh, no commentary? Oh, what are you gonna, what are you, uh, next you're gonna tell me you're eating a fucking burrito in the, in the top right of the screen and not talking. Nolan noticed something more appetizing down the beach. Over there on the shoreline. What is it? There's a goat. No way, bro. There's a goat. Mac, you cannot eat that. You can't stop me. No. Uh oh. Run away, goat. Jimmy, run away. Goat. Get out of here. 
Yes! Why did you do that? What are the main points of Parmenides' conception? What? He's our friend! No, he's not. He's food. Oh, uh, once again, Jimmy has scared away my food. And after sparing another animal from Mac, it was time to adventure to the ruins. All right, let's do it. We're almost out of water, guys. I need some for the adventure. I'm going to try to fill these up with coconut water while you're gone. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, keep going. I'll be there in one second. And what they don't know is I actually have a surprise waiting for us at the top of the ruins. It'll make sense in a little bit. That was kind of weird. This could be Mr. Beast bars. I just stayed back and talked to the camera. Yeah, kind of like how you lost $1.5 million. Oh, yeah. Follow me, gang. Jimmy, I believe in you. For a second, I thought this was the mountain. Oh, God, we haven't even reached the base of the mountain yet. And while we climb this mountain... Him, him joking to Mac about losing that, I, if that was me, I would actually get fucking mad. Like, that would I, I, that would actually piss me off. I'd be like, dude, you gotta fucking remind me every goddamn day about that shit. I, oh, oh, I lost two of your fucking challenges. Oh, yeah, I could have a million... I could have had a million dollars. Oh, thanks for bringing me to this fucking island, though. I'm going to tell the boys about Western Union. Wherever you are, Western Union may... Oh, I'm skipping that. I'm skipping that. U.S. Look how far away we've come from our beach. Is, it, is that a rainbow? Rainbow right there. <gasps> oh, yeah. What the heck? That's awesome. I'm not going to be like a Debbie Downer, but that's rain right there. That giant cloud? That giant cloud with rain Yeah, you're being out. a Debbie Downer. Hey, you can see Sean from here. Oh, dude, he's building the shelter. Sean's making us dinner. Sean! I can see you. Oh. oh, he's waving. Is it going to be dark when we go back on this path? Yeah. How are we going to see? Oh, we'll figure that out later. That's going to be unfortunate if somebody falls. Oh! Oh! Are you good? Yeah. I'm alive. <laughs> see that right over there? Boys, come on. Come over here. Welcome to the ruins. Whoa. This is actually sick. Why is there just a yellow box? Yeah, what is this thing? I'm glad you asked. I paid some guys with Western Union $10,000 to move this box up here. Really? Nolan, there's a crowbar in your backpack. <laughs> What do you Ten do? grand to carry a box up a hill? In here. Pizza? You knew that we were going to run out of water, so you put extra water in this box. And while we're opening this, there's never been a better time to download or sign up for Western Union. Your first transaction is free. Just go to westernunion.com slash MrBeast. Now, I know I could have filled this crate with extra water and food, but instead, I brought something even better. Matt, does this moment remind you of something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this picture. <laughs> Jimmy, you're so funny. <laughs> Jimmy, you're so funny. Oh, yeah, I lost it. Oh, this is me. Oh, you framed the picture of me crying, Jimmy. Jimmy, oh, that's fucking hilarious. Picture of you losing 800 grand. Now here's a picture of you losing 700 grand. Bro, why? Why go? You'll see it one second. Don't worry. Now I didn't do this to make fun of Mac for losing 1.5 million dollars. Really? Because that's exactly what it feels like you're doing. I did this to say and we're gonna give you another chance in one final video. No. Bro, why are people saying, bro, look at your chat? Bro, Mikey, what? I'm looking at my chat right now. You missed a flex. Oh, I did the flex. Venom for the sub. Eighth for the three. My God. Shot. But this I learned to filter out the people that just spam the same thing mentally, so I don't even notice it. Your final shot. You're going to give me a third shot? Your final shot. I got another shot! If you look at the last video we did, every single comment was, bring back Mac, bring back Mac. I hope you win. That's another shot. More important than your shot. There's some ruins over here. Let's go look at them. Third shot, baby. I'm not going to let you guys down again. This building is almost a century. He's going to let us down again. Or they're going to frame it so he's going to win. Old. Imagine building this 100 years ago just for a bunch of YouTubers to explore it. <laughs> Whoa, this is wicked. Why is there a cactus up there? Does the cactus just crawl up there or does someone put the cactus up there? The cactus does not crawl up there, Jimmy. It doesn't have legs. Oh my God. Let's check out on the other side of the crate. There's some more ruins over there. This is crazy, dude. Look how the trees like wrap around the Whoa. freaking rocks. Would the gang say this was worth the effort? Because I got a third chance, yes I would. All right, well, he's biased. Would you two say it was worth it? No. There was no pizza in the box, so no. <laughs> By this time, day five sun was setting on the island. And on our way back to camp, we stopped at the peak of the mountain to take it all in. There's no one I'd rather scale the side of a random mountain with than you guys. Thank Aww. you. Maybe Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That's fair. But outside of that, nobody. Boys, I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna remember this forever. Me too. I think this view made the journey worth it. Camp's cleaned up. It's been reinforced from the rain. Coconut water. Meals ready to go. Got a lot more water. It's getting really dark. I mean, you can't even see into the woods right now. I don't know how they're gonna make it back from the top of that mountain through all these woods in the dark. This is... Way sketchier. I'd be worried there'd be a fucking. I know it's an island, so there's not as many like predatory animals, but I'd be worried something would fucking kill me, like a snake.
Good night. Does he script the videos? These videos, yeah. These videos are entirely planned out. Hello, hi, for the fucking, uh, thousand biddies. Hi, Joseph James Bartolozzi. Hello. Venom for the sub. Cactus. Ow! You good? Just a thorn on my side. But little did we know, running into a cactus in the middle of the night was actually the least of our worries. We ended up hitting a dead end, which is a little intimidating in the middle of a forest. Hey, which direction is it? Is it this way or that way? Wait, I can see three different things, dude. There's this right here, and then there's this one right here. This is a path, too. Like, are you I sure, bro? This... Where is that? At? It's definitely not to the... Follow me, guys. I will pick a random direction. Follow Wait, no, me. no. I, I think it is to the left. Oh, it is. No, right it's right here. over here. Ah, oh, it's raining! And we must have been extra lucky that night because on top of being lost, it started raining. Are you sure this is the right one? Yeah, it's this way. Which way are we going? I told you we should plow. Wait, Taylor. Follow me. Taylor, how sure are you? I'm 10% sure it's this so way. So wouldn't 90% be better? Are you 90%? Can we choose? It's pouring on the side of a mountain. Go! It's raining! Okay, Wait, why don't we way. choose and then unchoose? I don't care. Oh, boys, this is bad. It is getting slick! I really don't think we came up with something this steep. <laughs> oh, I almost face planted. And if we couldn't I'd be- I'd start getting mad as shit, dude. If I had to walk in that rain for more than, like, 10 minutes. Any more- And we're arguing about where the fuck we're going. I'm gonna be like, I'll see y'all later. Just fucking start walking my own direction. Unlucky, on top of it raining while we're lost, we've even got a third thing to worry about. Above you is the most dangerous tree on Earth. If it rains, it will seep poison that will burn your skin. Watch out for the death apple sap because it just rained. No shot it burns your skin that bad. Like immediately or is it like a long, it's not like acid, right? What are we supposed to do? Not it just starts burning your skin if you rub up against it. Not let the poison drip on you. Oh, oh, that is 10,000% of death apple tree, boys. That means we're close. And regardless of if we I'd need to try it out. Him telling me that would make me be like, okay, put some on my arm. It can kill you. Dude, I would need to know. I would, if he's like, it's going to burn your skin. Okay, dickhead, put some on my forearm. I'd need to know. Natural selection? Yeah, that's why guys die younger than women. Because we do stupid shit. But, dude, I would need to know. Like, you're telling me he keeps bringing up, oh, the tree sap's gonna burn your skin. Oh, the tree sap. Bitch, put some of it on my fucking forearm. Took the right path or not, we can I tell immediately just start going, ah! Ah! It's just like, it starts, like, actually burning through to the bone. I'm like, Jimmy, you, you were right the whole time. We were getting close to camp. That's sand. That's oh. Jimmy, my arm's falling off. Thank God. We made it. <laughs> Camp is right there. We have a rare opportunity to scare Sean. Are we going to take advantage of that? Yes, of course. It causes okay. painful blisters. I put it in Nolan's lotion. He starts freaking out. He's like, it hurts, it hurts. I'm like, you look fine. What hurts, buddy? He's like, uh, well... And then he and then and then he just moves on. He's like, I'll figure it out. Oh god! Oh my god, you scared me. We made it. Yeah, we're back. I made you guys dinner in coconut water. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Wow, it tastes like a coconut. <laughs> After the hike, we ate, we showered, and when we dried off, we took a second to look up at the stars. Because when you're in the middle of the ocean, it really feels like you're on another planet. Oh my god, the stars probably look so fucking crazy. Respectively, around the corner was something we've been fearing this entire challenge. Can you feel that? Guys, bad news. There's a ton of water on the top of our shelter. I just don't know if that's going to be safe for us to be under it. Despite our efforts from earlier to make the shelter better, water was beginning to pull up on our roof from the storm. why they make it flat? There's water on top of us. Is there a world that could bring our structure down? And even though all we wanted at this point was a night of sleep, we had to get up and deal with it. Uh, oh my god. We are absolutely screwed. I'm just getting destroyed and pummeled by rain all night. And after two hours of rain, a damaged shelter, and soaking wet beds, there was no chance any of us were going to sleep that night. It's raining on you at night. The worst experience you can have on these challenges. I'm so tired. Hopefully it just passes over. And even though this was an all-time low, our only option was to wait this thing out. I'm not gonna lie, the rain last night was pretty brutal. I don't know if I've ever been that cold uh, 
ever. What do you want to do today, Nolan? I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I just can't wait to get out of here. This place sucks a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sick and I'm I'm tired. And I wanna go home. How did bro get sick? At this point, the island was making us miserable. This is quickly turning into a little bit of a nightmare. And after six days of physical struggle, our mental health was beginning to suffer as well. There's only so much bagged food you can drink and hours you can lay in the sun. Uh, you hit him for the three. Your streams has helped me quitting MDMA and weed. I've now been clean for a month. Keep the good work, dog. Duh. Sasha for the sub. Hello, I already read that. Before you start to just feel terrible, and I'm starting to feel terrible. I have a headache. I am very tired. It was clear that we were going to have to take drastic measures if we were going to complete this challenge. Looking for a peach cobbler. Want to look for a peach cobbler? Oh, I found one. So, in an effort to turn things around, we treated ourselves to canned cobbler for breakfast. Pretty good. Not bad. Yeah. Our can. We treated ourselves to canned cobbler for breakfast. Pretty good. Not bad. Yeah. Can. And no. with the help of this unorthodox breakfast, can that happen? We were what the hell was cobbler? Getting to return back. Dude, that looks like vomit. To normal. Go oh, ahead. Dude, you hit straight into the tree. And it became clear how exactly we were going to survive day six yeah. by having fun with each other. <laughs> it's so awesome. it's like and a pie. I began to realize. Oh. <laughs> even though we've all done a lot of suffering why'd we pick the heaviest seat in existence this whole trip has been filled with a lot of fun cheers boys and adventure we did it <laughs> moments like these are hard to find and when i look back on this challenge we probably won't remember the bad times as much as we will the good it's kind of cool and with oh, day geez, six he's got his socks on uh, uh. Our challenge finally coming to an end. We're celebrating our final night with a massive fire. But it's kind of burning us all. Yeah, I'm getting that. It's a little too big. When we wake up tomorrow, the challenge will be over. And as the sun rose on day seven, oh, get me out of here. we broke down camp and cleaned up with one thing in mind. Leaving this place and never coming back. And before we leave, I just want to take the time to say thank you all for watching. All of you are the only reason videos like this exist, and I really hope you all enjoy. WVED. Next. We got to crank these out, dude. We're an hour and 14 minutes into stream one video in. I served $1 sushi at a five-star restaurant. Fucking Jack Pembroke video. This is a stranger who thinks she's eating the most expensive sushi in the world, but little does she know... I came straight from a gas station. Bruh. The question is, will she notice? Today I think you can tell. Can you tell the difference between high quality and low quality food if you're told that it's high quality? Yes. To a degree. And I think it varies on what it is as well. I think with like certain items like pizza, like no, you're not gonna be able to fucking tell. It's just good, like it's gonna be like a good pizza or like a pretty good pizza. It's not gonna be like a drastic difference, but shitty sushi is much more noticeably bad than fucking like high grade shit. Just cause the fish is gonna taste worse. Like usually a shitty tuna is like chewy and they, there's like that that weird like fat lining. Oh, it's gross. They will be finding out by testing strangers to answer the age old question, does higher cost mean higher quality or are we wasting our money? And for the first test, we'll be comparing shoes, but not just any shoes. These are $10,000 Air Dior Jordans, except these ones are completely fake. I can't afford these. Dude, dead ass. Is it, is it fucked to wear fake Jordans? If you got a good fake, if you got a good fake, I mean, it's like, who gives a shit, you know? I would say if you're going to be buying, like, a fake pair of Jordans that is just going for retail, that doesn't really make sense. But if you're going to buy, like, a fake pair of, like, $20,000 Jordans, like, I think that's fine because it's like, who the hell is going to spend the money on that anyway? I had those. Do you guys have any fake shoes? I have real Jordan 1s. But I don't buy Jordan 1s that are, like, the $4,000 ones. Like, the Travis Scott pairs and shit. Somebody said pocket change for $10,000 shoes. Mad for the sub. I would never want to wear them. I wear the shoes that I have now, and I'm always worried that they're going to get creased and shit. But at the end of the day, I'm like, dude, you got to wear the shoes. If you buy shoes and you don't wear them, what's the, fu what's the fucking point in owning them? Collector's item? You're just going to stare at them? 
I'm broke. We're gonna be going into unsuspecting sneaker stores and see if they'll buy these completely fake knockoffs. Are sneakerheads smart enough to know the difference? I sure hope so. You guys buy shoes, right? You bought them from the store? Or I bought them just for my friend. These aren't real. <laughs> Imagine. No, they're not. How puzzle. <laughs> Uh, these are fake as shit, oh, dude. Imagine that would be that'd be crazy, right? No, dude, they're actually no, they're actually fucking fake. Like I'm not gonna buy these. What? How are you? He's like, dude, I spent like ten grand on these shoes. He really plays the bit. Like a thousand percent. A thousand percent. Yo. Is there anything that we could do, like maybe like a? You could get a fake. That's good enough. I know somebody did a video on that with StockX. I watched a video of somebody faking shoes to try and get StockX to pass them, and they never, he couldn't do it. But I feel like if you really tried, you could fake a shoe. But at that point, you're probably going to call, you're probably going to spend the amount that it costs to just make the shoe. SR for the fucking tier two sub. Thank you for the fucking tier two sub there, brother. Math this up. Like, I don't think anyone, like, because most people don't know the nope. difference. Dang it, I, dude, okay. Well, I guess that's a strike for uh, the cheap side. Next sneaker store. What's going on? Just trying to sell these. My ex-girlfriend got them for me, and we broke up, and that was like the one thing she bought me. It just reminds me too much of her, so I have to just get rid of it. I'm just having a bad day. Are you having a bad day? The only thing that'll make me happy at this point is just a little bit of money. <laughs> oh, no. Why is he doing that? Why is, it, why is he trying to tell them? Why is he trying to tell them this sappy story that they need to buy the shoe? Oh, no. I hate to do this, but I'm gonna break your heart one more time. What, what, what? So, as fake as she was, is as fake as the sneaker is. Uh, uh, I need like a hug or, can I get a- I you don't hug guys, I'll give you a shake though. Maybe like home- Bro said he don't hug guys. Bro, a homie hug is the best hug. When you're like, when you're like in there, when you're like in there, just a just a real hug. A real hug. Bro said he don't hug dudes. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Hold my hand. I don't hold hands either. No. I don't hug guys. Bruh. <sighs> relax, man. Relax, man. It's okay. It's alright. Okay, it's alright. And that's going to be another point not for even like, Not even like a shoulder. Not even like a... And then they pat each other on the shoulder. Like, I feel like every guy does that. Where you dap somebody up, and then you go in, and you kind of, like, do the shoulder tap, and then you go back, right? That's, like, is does that count as a hug? We have one more sneaker store, and I'm not going to give up. That's just you? Bro, that's not just me. I Every person I have ever dapped up, I've done that. You don't just go... Like some stupid handshake. You go... Dude, literally, you go in, hug, right? In hug, and then you fucking hit him on the back. I feel like everybody does that. Bro just said, "Yo, just you." I don't hug guys. I don't hug men. Until I prove the world wrong. There you go, friend. My friend sold him to me. I mean, he's asking shoe experts on whether or not they're fake. Uh, I don't think they're real. <clears throat> The shoes? Yeah. I don't think he would give me fake ones, though. But how do they tell if they're real or not? Like, the like, is it like the lacing or the stitching? His, his name's Jeremy. Uh, he lives in a two-story house. Something you gotta take up with him. Oh! We went to three different stores. Every single store knew. Luckily, I have a couple more opportunities to prove my theory, right? And if you don't know what I mean by that, I am on side cheap. I'm really rooting for the cheap side because I think cheap is better than expensive. Luckily, our next test is purely based off taste. Here I have a bunch of popular American snacks as well as their cheap knockoff version. It's going to be up to them to see if they can figure out which one is the expensive one. So here I have Coca-Cola and then I have Cola Soda. Here's the first one. <laughs> You're going to feed it to me? I'm not going to feed it to you. Yeah. Disgusting. I don't like it. Here is the other one. But he acts like he got a refined palate. Yeah, I'll be able to tell the difference between sodas. Fake. You are correct. Yeah. 
I think number one is cheap, number two is expensive. You're actually incorrect. Oh, no. I really couldn't tell the difference. Let's just say one. You're correct, actually. You know what Beast Boy is? Teen Titans Go? Yes. Yeah. I'm the voice. Yo, mamas. Ha <laughs> ha. Waffles. Oh, so here I have Fruit Loops and then the Fruit Rings. I want you to tell me which one you think is the real one. Here's number two. Yo, Fruit Loops are so dick. Like, I, I <laughs> they're not good. They're not good. Your audio is very low compared to the other channels. My audio is not low. Like if you can't hear me, you gotta turn you gotta turn up your audio, dude. I've been using the same audio settings since I started on Twitch, dude. Fruit Loops are so ass because they're all the same fucking flavor. I don't give a shit if you think that's an L take chat. It's annoying. Why do we call them? Why are we dyeing them other colors? Like they're gonna taste different, right? It's like, you know, Skittles had, Skittles understands what's going on here. They're fucking, the color matches the flavor. Why am I having, same thing with like Trix cereal. Why am I eating this when, and, and they're all these different colors, like it's going to have different flavors when it's just the same indiscernible fruit taste. So you think this is the real Fruit Loop? Yeah. You're actually incorrect, sir. They taste different to me. Dude, they taste different to you. That's a fucking placebo. That's straight up placebo effect. That's you presuming they're gonna taste different. Eat, eat, f eat every color of, of a fucking Fruit Loop, and they will all be exactly the same. Number one. You're correct. Yeah, I told you I fucked with a whole bunch of Fruit Loops. Yeah, yeah, bro. Nah, this is a real thing. You're actually incorrect. Oh, shame on this no. guy. Shame, shame, shame. For the next bit, I have two different types of pizza. One is from Prime Pizza that has very expensive pizza, and the other one is the classic $5 pizza from Little Caesars. If I do a little sexy, sexy dance, will you let me get a piece of pizza? Open up. Oh gosh. Yummy. And then I'm gonna give you the second one. What's going on right now? Little Caesar. You're correct. Thank you. Which one tastes better? Caesar's. Oh, okay. We'll give a point to the cheap side then. Let's I go, baby. Caesar's is easy to tell just because their crust is like not even bread. I'm not dissing Little Caesar's too. A five dollar pizza is fucking nuts. That you could buy a whole pizza for five bucks. But you could tell when it's Little Caesars, just because the the bread. And for our next test, I decided to step it up a little bit. All right, ma'am. All right, ma'am. Have a good day. More Caesars. All right, we we cut the cameras. The bet's over. Give me the give me the give me the pizza. Bro said if she do a sexy dance, could she get a slice of pizza? What does that even mean? Bit and show up to LA's most prestigious golf course. Today we'll be testing the richest type of person. You think he cut the cameras and she did the sexy dance? Golfers. Here I have two different types of golf balls. One is your $1 bottom of the barrel range ball, and the other is a Louis Vuitton golf ball that'll run you upwards of $900. Why do they have a Louis Vuitton golf ball? Do you think people actually golf with the Louis Vuitton golf balls? I know different prices of golf balls change actually matter because it's going to change, you know, how far the ball goes, how you can control the ball because it's just a higher quality material. For only three. But you're just going to fucking see, dude, it's just a red ball. Like these, they, they look like fucking mini golf balls. Like I would just pick this up at a fucking golf course. And it, like, there's no difference between the two. One is red, one's blue. Golfers be able to tell the difference. That's 300 fucking dollars. There's only one way to find out. And so I approached my first golfer. We're trying to like do an experiment to see if expensive means better. I was wondering if you could tell me which one you think is the expensive one. I don't get it. You, who's a member here? Oh, one of these fucking guys. Oh, one of these. I don't get it. Who's a, who's a member here? Are you allowed to be here? Are you allowed to? Bruh, fuck off. Bruh, fuck off. Bruh, fuck off. One of these balls is- Are you, uh, Do you have your membership card? Do I need to call- Do I need to call security? Bro. Bro, he's just asking you which golf ball- how, Why do you not get it? Which golf ball looks more expensive? It's $300. The other one is $1. You're gonna have to hit both of these balls and tell me which one you think- Hit them? I'm not giving a $300 golf ball to a random fucking golfer. That motherfucker could just rip that shit into the fucking trees. Or into the lake.
is the expensive one and the cheap one. Got it. All right. Got it. Woo. All right, here's the second one. Boom. So which one do you think is the expensive one? The red one. The red one is the more expensive. Well, you guys would be right. It is the red one. Yeah, I think it's the red one. You're correct. <laughs> Good stuff. Did it, wait, he just hit it. He just did like a jump cut. And he hit the ball, and then they got another one, and then he hit it again. Did they run and get the ball and bring it all the way the fuck back? Because there's no way he has more than one of these. This guy just rips this shit fucking 300 yards. And then now they just had to go pick it up and bring it back four fucking times. You got a golf cart? Bitch, that's still a pain in the ass. You could drive a ball 300 fucking yards. Boom. So which one do you think is the expensive one? The red one. The red one is the more expensive. Well, you guys would be right. It is the red one. Yeah, I think it's the red one. You're correct. <laughs> Good stuff. That's going to wrap up golfing. I expected way less people to know which one was the expensive one, but it seems like golfers are pretty smart with their balls. <laughs> oh, it's $900 for a pack of three. He just rips all three. He's like, all right, yeah, I'll give those to the course. That was weird. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that. And finally, the thing you've all been waiting for. I am going to be serving gas station sushi at a gourmet restaurant. And the Jacks for the sub, it's for the three, ye for the sub, uh, king for the sub, floating for the three. My cat keeps licking your face like she's avoiding licking everywhere else on the screen other than your face. I'm not kidding. I just started moving around. Cat just starts licking the entire screen. Restaurant is no boo. And I didn't choose this restaurant just because of the outrageous prices, but because the owner of the restaurant himself. Oh, no boo. Yeah. Choose this restaurant just because of the outrage. Yo, they got this thing I really want to do at a Nobu one day. I've never been to a Nobu, but I they, I they have this thing called omakase where you pay like a flat fee and they just choose what you eat. Would you guys do that? If you're picky, you can't. And I'm like, I, I wouldn't say I'm a picky person, but like, I don't, there are a lot of foods I don't like. But I think that'd be fun as hell to like, just be like, yeah, you, you just give them like $300 and then they fucking just start serving you random shit. That'd be cool. Just because of the outrageous price. Unless you hated it. That, I, I give him $300, he brings out some fucking gross ass shit. I'd be like, ugh. Five omakase. Oh, that's what it is. Five omakase. Bamboo, 10 year, $50. But because the owner of the restaurant himself, Chef Nobu, claims that his outrageous prices are justified because of the quality of ingredients. The price is high means the good product also. So I decided to put it to the test and see if people can actually tell the difference. I'm scared, guys, okay? I don't really get scared doing these videos a lot. I'm pretty freaking nervous. All right, let's do it. I think the price is high, but they also have higher profit margins. Do you think do you think high quality restaurants have higher profit margins than like an outback steakhouse? Like a really good steakhouse, do you think they make percentage wise more? Obviously they're making more money, but I feel like they're also making like say say outback steakhouse, it costs them five dollars to make to, to do a steak and you pay like twenty five bucks. They're profiting, you know, what what is that? Fucking seven X? Six, yo, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 5X, probably five X. Sorry, chat, hungover, can't really do math right now. Profiting five X. Now, say they have another steak, like a Wagyu steak that you're paying like 140 bucks for. Probably cost them like 30 bucks, 20 bucks to get it. Honestly, I think the, I think the percentage might be the same. But I think that they're just making way more money because they're putting more, way more money in. Backs for the three. What's your favorite hostess treat? I don't even know. Are, is like a Twinkie a hostess treat? This. If so, Twinkies. Like a, a, free, a, cold, a cold Twinkie. Oh, Jesus. And so I had my filmer approach the restaurant as I stayed back and plated the sushi. Okay, I just locked myself in the bathroom. I'm going to plate the sushi. This is crazy. Everything seemed to be going to plan until we realized- First plate and the sushi in the bathroom. How much security there actually was. This place is absolutely littered with security. And as I- Wait, he's just gonna go up to a random person <laughs> acting like he's- Yo, he could get sued. 
you're you just go up to some random person at a restaurant acting like an employee and you're like oh here's your here's your tuna <laughs> here's your tuna oh oh thanks and they eat it and they're like actually that's from a gas station <laughs> she's like what i put it i plated it in the bathroom i put my hands all over <laughs> oh god I put my hands all over it. They get food poisoning. Waited for my filmer to tell me it was- I mean, this works for him to do it here because at a Nobu, they have a makase, so they don't know what they're getting served, right? If he did this at a different sushi place, somebody could just be like, I didn't order tuna. No time. Security kicked them out just for filming. I can't even take a video. He's already on to us, bro. He's like standing right there. And so instead of putting our entire plan at risk, we decided to come back and test our luck for another day. And that's exactly what we did. And so we came back the next day more prepared. And so we got everything set up and ready to go. Not on the fucking floor of the bathroom. <laughs> nah. Jack. Yo, there's no shot. This mother's... This motherfucker's ripping that shit out of his backpack. And that's exactly what we did. And so we came back the next day more prepared. And so we got everything set up and ready to go. And lo and behold, we failed again. And so we came back the next day. We're back. And the next day, we gotta come back. And the next day, we have been relentless at making this work. And eventually, we started to doubt if it was even possible. Who are they even gonna try and, who are they even gonna try and fucking give the sushi to? Like, I, how would they determine who who it is? And then they're, they gotta film them? I still don't think it's possible to do it. Like, they're just gonna stand so there and watch them eat it? So close. It wasn't really that close. Though. There's like a thousand waiters that are constantly going to the table. They were there every 30 seconds. I'm not even exaggerating. It's almost impossible. And so we decided we would try this thing one more time. <sighs> I don't even know what to say, dude. I've done this so many times. This was the make or break moment. And so after learning from our mistakes, we wasted no time. I'm gonna walk out there. And I'm gonna do this thing. I'm like, so I'm gonna plate the sushi in the bathroom, and I'm gonna tell him that it's fucking expensive. So nervous, but I'm feeling confident, and uh, I do all this for you guys. We're trying to hit a million subscribers. It would mean the world to me if you guys would just subscribe. W. Jack Pembroke. This motherfucker's at 362k already. All I ask is do this. And immediately after getting the green light from my filmer, I began to approach the restaurant. With security around every corner and an insane amount of waiters, my only hope was confidence. And so I got in position and made my move. How are we doing, guys? You doing good? This is complimentary of the chef. It's the best of the best, the best we have. Enjoy it. I'll be back. Let me know how it is. Appreciate you guys. They're already looking at it. They're already looking at it weird. Holy crap. Holy crap. He just leaves? He just fucking leaves? Hey, guys, these are complimentary from the chef. And then he just dips. He doesn't even record the reaction. He's just like... I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh my god, we give him sushi, dude. Dude, shake it. We did 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 it. I still gotta go back and see how they liked it. And so I began anxiously waiting while my victims enjoyed their gas station sushi. And after about 10 minutes of waiting, it was time to see the results. Oh god, he can't tell them. He can't tell them. them how they liked it. It was actually from a gas station. I, I dropped it on the urine. I dropped it in the urinal uh, while I was taking a piss. I was trying to multitask, and I the sushi fell in the toilet. From my heart, <laughs> this is so scary, man. This experiment was. I bet you thought it was really good, right? Either gonna end with a tie or a yeah, placebo effect, eh? Expensive was gonna take the cake. Okay. Was it good? It was alright. No, yeah, it yeah the, like the sushi wasn't great. Like. Really? Yeah, what what kind was it? Why are we doing that, man? What's up? You, you say don't that? work here. H how do you know that? Because I work here. You don't work here. I, I actually been working here a long time. Now you're making me think, do you work here? Not not here, guys. Let's talk about this. Yo, I'd be so worried I'd get sued, dude. Because the people that ate that shit are going to be tweaking. Like, wouldn't you guys be worried? Like, I know Jack doesn't look like a scary guy. But if you're at a restaurant and you eat food and the waiter's like, this guy doesn't work here. I'd be like, so I just ate fucking food from some random guy that's dressed up as a fucking waiter. Like, I'd start, I, even if he was like, I'm a YouTuber, I'd, be, I'd start skitzing. I'd be like, dude, where the fuck, where, where do you get the food from? Sad for the sub.
Hey, I'll, I'm out of here. I'm so out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Did they eat it? Yo, but you know the benefit? They probably got shit for free. Oh, I'd, I'd bitch. You get free meal at Nobu. You're spending two hundred fucking dollars on on your your food. I'd be like, you guys, you guys should have better security. I just got served a fake fucking ditch. I, oh, I'd fuck, I'd fucking freak out. I'd be a Karen. I'd say, take that shit off, take that shit off. And with all of our results tallied up, expensive, unfortunately, won. But if you want to see me do this again, but even crazy, I'd still tip the waiter, but I try to get the food for free. Five thousand likes, and I'll do it again. I love you guys. Bye. He's permaban from Nobu? Dude, he honestly might be. The sushi bit prepping the sushi in a bathroom then serving it to strangers. That could have gone wrong in so many ways. <laughs> Dude, especially, like, do you think he explained it to them? Prepping the food on the bathroom floor with your bare hands and tricking customers to eat it is wild. <laughs> the sushi bit crossed the line for sure. Bro, I'm not mad at Jack. Motherfuckers, for real, that was outrageous and uncalled for. Buddy, 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 outrageous, uncalled for. Bro, just, my bro just committed a crime. Bro took the food in bathroom, put it on the floor, used the hand to play it on the plate, and then feed, feed the people. Oh, my God. Dude, I didn't realize this was an older video, too. This is like one of his first videos. <laughs> this is like literally his fourth video he ever made. Oh my god. Sad for the setbacks for the for the three. It ain't that deep, bro. Some snowflakes. Well, no, I, I mean it would be like if they actually if they actually got sick or something, then I'd be like, okay, that's kind of fucked. But I think it is crazy. But I'm not gonna be like, oh fucking Jack, oh Jack, why would you do that to somebody? Like he acted like he fucking killed someone. It ain't that. It ain't that deep. All right, next video. The worst types of TikTokers. Ugh. G Grimmy video. Lock in. So sure that I have more disdain. Did anyone yawn because of me there? I'm going to do it again. That's like a pack animal thing. Most people don't know that. If you if somebody if you watch somebody yawn, you're more likely to yawn and repugnance for TikTok than LeVar Ball has for toothpaste. I feel as if this app has done more irreversible damage to modern society than global warming, bro. I'm nothing but grateful that this is the TikTok that I grew up with and not this gormless app. And inside this despicable app lies an assortment of deranged individuals. I'm convinced that there are more terrible creators on TikTok than grains of sand on a beach. So today, we will once again be discussing some of the most woeful and deplorable content and users on TikTok. Comment down below the worst type of TikTokers and like and The worst type of TikTokers are definitely the people that still do NPC lives. Like uh, the, the NPC, oh my God, I don't even know his name. He's like a New York TikToker. And he's like, I'm, I'm, NPC, I'm NPC New York bunny or some shit. And he has like a fucking, he has like a VR headset around his neck and he chews like probably like a whole pack of big league chew. And his fuck, it's like so. I, I I gotta find a video of it. It's like a fucking mound of gum, and he just goes, "I'm I'm New York I'm New York NPC. Thanks for the rose. Thanks for the rose. Thanks for the rose." And it's like I whenever I a butterfly NPC, that's his name. A butterfly NPC. Hi, I'm Butterfly NPC. I'm your best friend. Hi, I'm your best friend. Hey, who is this? Hi, I'm Butterfly NPC. Install GPT. Install neural networks. Hi. Where's my Tesla Cybertruck? Where's my Tesla Cybertruck? Where's my Tesla Cybertruck? Where's my Tesla Cybertruck? Where's my Tesla? Where's my Tesla Cybertruck? And he, he, now he always has like a VR headset around his neck. And he wears like a... The Cybertruck upgrade. System upgrade. System. System upgrade. System upgrade. <laughs> like, I respect the grind that he's put on this act for so long. But I'm like, dude, it's been months. And he still does like the IRL New York NPC fucking streams. I feel like I'd start going insane. If every day I had to just log on to TikTok live 
for five hours straight and just go, a oh, butterfly NPC. Butterfly NPC system upgrade. Thanks for the glizzy. <laughs> thanks for the glizzy. <laughs> fucking butter. Oh, thanks for the rose. Th uh, thanks for the rose. I'm fucking just standing there. Dude, nonstop. Like, I'd lose my shit. Like, there's no amount. I, like, he, I, you would have, I would have to be making so much money for me to be able to fucking do that. Subscribe if you're new. First, we got to talk about the people who fake disabilities and disorders. The fact that this is a whole ass trend on TikTok is unequivocally bizarre. You have these moronic motherfuckers making entire documentaries about their conditions and how difficult and burdensome their lives are. All the time, these niggas are just low life numbskulls fishing for attention like Mr. Krabs and that dollar. These motherfuckers visit WebMD one time and see if they have one of the symptoms and somehow diagnose themselves with depression or something. Dude, self diet. So, I mean, depression's one thing, but I like I I wouldn't say necessarily with that. There are people though on TikTok that like claim they have medical conditions and I'm like have you ever been diagnosed no no I googled it and I have similar condition dude you can google my fucking ankle hurts and it's going to tell you that you have fucking stage 4 fucking lymphoma or some shit it's going to tell you you're dying right now like you're you're at you're you're going to live one more day niggas take a buzzfeed the DID TikTok mask craze yeah like, I, I, dissociative identity disorder is a genuine thing, but people that just say they have it, like, dude, you have to fucking, you have to get diagnosed with that shit. You could just be like, I have DID. I have this. I'm like, dude, that's like a serious condition. Or people that say they have, like, bipolar disorder, and I'm like, have you ever even been diagnosed with that? Like, you're just, like, I don't, I don't want to shame people in the sense of, like, acting like they haven't. I'm never somebody that's going to be like, oh, I don't think you actually have that. Like, if you tell me you have fucking BPD, I'm going to believe that you have BPD, right? But... There are people that legitimately just fucking fake it, and they say that they have it, and they're convinced that they have it, but they don't, and they've never been diagnosed with it. Equations are telling people that they're suffering from crime. My sister's bipolar. That shit is real. I know. I'm not saying it's not real. I'm saying there's people that act like they have it, though, when they actually don't. Why lie, though? For attention depression then not the nerve to get on social media posting these corny ass simpson edits talking about only real ones understand well then i must be more fake than kim kardashian's anatomy because i have zero clue about this shit if you think about it this is really some of the most ignorant shit you can do it seemed like every other video i was seeing was somebody who either had tourette's adhd depression autism and at face value i didn't think much of it you know why would i assume that this person is faking a serious disorder lo and behold these niggas are more frugazy than some timu airpods i don't even know what possesses these oafish motherfuckers to even pursue such tactics timu airpod is nuts Yo, those shits are fucking hilarious, though. You ever see somebody that actually has fake AirPods? They're, like, four times the size of a fucking regular AirPod, and they, like, blink, like, red and green. Behaviors. And don't get me wrong, I'm not exactly the most I have the Timu AirPod. ...when it comes to current trains and what the cool kids on the block are into. But when did it become comical to fake disorders for attention on the internet? But the most alarming thing about this entire trend is that the people who execute such cringy acts claim that it's just them being quirky or wacky. Faking disorders and diseases for internet clout has to be lower than Snoop Dogg's eyes, bro. Now we gotta talk about the parents who... Nah, I remember the one girl that faked having Tourette's, too. That's also nuts. Like, somebody saying they have ADHD and they don't is, like easier to just say you know like if you're like high of adhd you could lie about that it's fucked right but you you're not putting on an act you're just saying you have adhd whereas like faking that you have fucking tourettes is like an in-depth process floating for the three i had a friend who would come up to me and be like i understand i'm bipolar too and i'd be like oh when do you get diagnosed and they said no i took a buzzfeed quiz a buzzfeed quiz yeah, no, I, yeah, no, I, I, I'm bipolar too. Yeah, no, I took a BuzzFeed quiz a few years back. A five question quiz. You don't understand me, uh, having diagnosed bipolar because you took a fucking BuzzFeed quiz exploit their kids. This is kind of similar to the family channels I mentioned in part one of this installment, but even more malevolent. Some of the parents I see on what mental disorder are you? Dude, that's probably a BuzzFeed quiz. Honestly, do I have, do I have depression BuzzFeed quiz?
I straight up be treating their kids like some kind of adolescent jester, bro. Having them perform all types of scatterbrain hooey. There's certain things that children go through when they're growing up that shouldn't be documented and put on the internet for all types of deranged individuals to view. The amount of EDP variants that are probably lurking behind these screens is extremely distressing. There legitimately needs to be a law to prevent this type of shit from happening, bro. Like, imagine you were one of those kids that got recorded 24-7 and some random ass nigga comes up to you years later talking about, I remember when you pooped yourself in that one video. Not gonna lie, bro, that nigga would get beat on more than a kettle drum. It gets yeah. even more petrifying when people try and live stream their kids who are disabled or impaired. Some of y'all chan- Yo, that is- I see that shit all the time. And I, like, those people need money. I understand that, and, like, they should get, like, help. But I've seen so much shit where they'll, like, live stream their kid that's, like, fucking dying in, like, a- in, like, a hospital bed. And they'll be like, oh, thanks for the rose. Oh, thank- And the kid's just sitting there, literally, like, borderline in a coma. Just, like, fucking- I'm not even gonna act like- uh, I just could be fucked if I try to copy what they look like. Like, dude. Oh, my God. Kevin G? Not- Kevin G is just a TikToker. That's different. I'm saying, like, there's people that actually just live stream their fucking disabled kids and ask for money. And I'm like, that's- like, you're in a tough situation, and I understand that, but, like, you're just going on stream and, like, panning for money. And, like, showing your kid be like... It, it, it's literally like, hey, look how fucked up my kid is. Give me money. Like, you could sit there and be like, hey, I need help with medical bills and all this other shit. But it's like sitting there and, like, fucking, you know, putting that online as, like, a a means of getting money. Will she for the three. I'll say it when somebody's like, I have BPD, but confuse it with bipolar and personality disorder. Chances of getting into the pearly gates are lower than the limbo bar. These motherfuckers really treat their own flesh and blood like some kind of janky ass toy, bro. And I know that the list of families that get caught performing this heinous act is longer than a CVS receipt, but do y'all remember that family that pranked their kids by telling them that their mom passed away? The shit that people do for attention and engagement- What? There was a family that fucking told their kids their mom died? Yo, that's nuts. I've seen videos where they're like, they'll they'll tell their parents like a famous person they like died as a joke. But that's way different than being like, hey, your mom's dead. Engagement is unforgivable, bro. Can we also talk about those TikTok clips with the dumbass subway surfer segments taking up half the screen? There's no way that y'all can't sit and watch a clip without having something else playing on the screen simultaneously. Bro, but those motherfuckers make a bag because they put their videos to a minute and then they just have fucking, they just, they just upload random clips of videos. And fucking get a million views on like Reddit stories. Y'all lizard brains have been fried to a crisp like a slice of bacon and are craving dopamine like a fucking crackhead, bro. How crazy. Uh. Uh. Josie Yapper, bro's talking for the sake of it. I'm gonna go watch something else. Yo, you go do that, buddy. You go do that, buddy. Do you have to be to literally have a clip of Family Guy actively playing and you still need something on the bottom of the screen? And unless you're a Pennywise cockeyed ass, you wouldn't be able to watch both screens at the same time. It's gonna get to the point where we're gonna have to hold a laptop up with Subway Surfer gameplay to get our kids to pay attention when we're talking to them. These iPad kids are out here operating 15 electronic devices at once like they're fucking Tony Stark or something, bro. There's just something about these videos that completely vexes me. Now we gotta talk about TikTok lives. Every time I see one of these, it literally feels like I'm on the fucking dark web. Modern society has deadass turned into an episode of- Oh my god, the ASMR I feel like I've seen every TikTok live ever. The ASMR fucking, like, wood, wood bead scooping. And they just sit there and it's like a little puppet and they go- And they just, they just, they just move the beads around. And people watch at you for like hours. Ye for the sub. Episode of Black Mirror. Humans used to chop down trees and hunt animals for food and clothing. Now we're spending hours of our day watching people cosplaying as fucking Navi from The Legend of Zelda, bro. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Just repeating the same damn lines like a broken record. I'm pretty sure everybody remembers Pinky Doll and her mechanical movements that took TikTok by storm. She's literally. Does she still do NPC streams? I haven't seen her in fucking for. Ever. He said a trend with all these motherfuckers trying to make a quick buck by mimicking NPCs. And then you got all the people who are willing to defend her swooping in like fucking Batman talking about You're just jealous she's making a bag. My nigga, I don't care if she's getting a glad force flex bag. All money ain't good money. I just couldn't imagine sitting in front of a phone for multiple hours a day making this Oh hell no, I understand her doing it. Cause she's making like thousands of dollars, right? But the people that sit on the people that sit on TikTok Live and do the NPC shit and they make like a dollar. I'm like, bro, you're, you would make more money working. Um, you would make like five times as much just working in like at a minimum wage job. 
than sitting on TikTok Live for fucking seven hours and making like a dollar. The same kooky movements and repeating the. The general response might be, oh, I, I couldn't get a job opportunity. I don't have this. And that's different, right? But if like you're choosing this when you have the capability to get another job, same gooberish catchphrases. Like at some point, your brain has to be all types of chopped and screwed, bro. Brain gonna be looking like a bowl of fucking porridge or something. She probably developed muscle memory from this shit and wakes up in cold sweats talking about, yes, 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 ice cream so good. Not to mention, she be pulling numbers, bro. There's no way on God's green earth there are 35,000 living, breathing entities spectating this eldritch malarkey. Ironically, the people viewing this shit might be the actual NPCs. What entertainment do y'all niggas get out of watching this? And like I said earlier, she paid the new. Nah, the actual NPCs are the motherfuckers that actually send her. I mean, I send Pinky doll gifts for a video. <laughs> Damn, I forgot I sent her. She didn't even respond to the shit that I sent her. Dude, the motherfuckers, though, that are sending her, like, fucking $50 gifts just so she, just so she goes, Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Oh, the galaxy. Ooh. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And, like, that's all you did. Bro, you just spent, you dropped $30 for a motherfucker to go, yes, 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 one time. Not even read anything you sent. And just be like, okay, I'm done. Hold up. Oh, the old fire alarm's going off again. <laughs> All right. Yay for the sub. Way of this NPC bullshit on TikTok. The number of people performing these vacuous acts were multiplying like Billy numerous. The whole NPC trend was spreading like cocaine. Why did it go on? It just does that. This shit was legitimately the only thing you saw on TikTok they, like, at one beep? point. Miles Morales, Barbie dolls, slaves. Y'all are setting us back more than the DeLorean with. Change the batteries? Yeah, you gotta. That one, bro. These harrowing individuals will stop at nothing to try to make some funds. And please tell me I'm not the only person who'd routinely seen those not talking until someone Q joins live streams on TikTok. This quite literally might be the corniest thing those I've ever are, Those are the cringiest ones. Those been around for so long though like that was like some 2020 shit like they where they hold up a paper it's just some girl that holds up a paper not not talking until a cute guy joins or lay my eyes on first of all who put you on the planet second of all who made you the messiah of judging people's looks and most of the people that actually join these lives are just pick me motherfuckers looking for attention bro are we in the fucking second grade or something bruh i gotta go <laughs> i gotta go check hold the fuck up We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. How's they burn into the ground? We're fine. Yay for this stuff. Stop saying rip. But by far some of the most unethical and conniving content that I've seen on TikTok lives has to be the one where they're straight up scamming people. There's the people who straight up steal footage and stream it as their own content, or there's the ones where someone is quote unquote sleeping and donating sets off a loud sound that wakes them up. But if I'm being honest, you gotta have Antonio Brown levels of CTE to donate money to these niggas, bro. And I would literally pay a visit to Craigslist before I buy a damn thing off the TikTok shop. Now we gotta talk about- Oh my god, yo motherfuckers that pan the TikTok shop bullshit. Oh, look at this cool coin thing that you could use to get free shopping carts. You don't have to use your quarter anymore. You could use this plastic thick bitch. What the fuck? That doesn't even make sense. It doesn't. It's the dumbest. It's the dumbest product I have ever seen on the entirety of fucking TikTok. I think it's the dumbest product I may, I may have ever seen in my entire life. Editor, throw up a fuck. If this is for a fucking YouTube video, I don't know if it's gonna be a YouTube video. Show up a fuck. Throw up a fucking image. Of the little coin thing. Basically, it's like a fucking... It's like a plastic item that you just fucking shove into the coin slot at like a fucking Aldi. So you can get your fucking grocery cart. And it's so fucking stupid. Because you get your quarter back. Right? Like, if... if, if it, I, I would understand it maybe if like you had to pay a quarter to use the cart. But you just get your quarter back when you put your shopping cart back. So what is the fucking point of paying $5 for something that saves me 25 cents? And it's not saving me 25 cons cents consecutively. It's saving it one time. It's so stupid. I swear you've talked about this. I've made a TikTok about it before because they fucking pan those motherfuckers on TikTok all the time. Oh, pranks. 
At this point in 2024, pranks are pretty much just recorded crimes, bro. Remember back when pranks used to actually make people laugh and chuckle? Now it's just harassment that gets passed off as content for TikTok. Rem Dude, literally, and then you see on Twitter these motherfuckers that run around and just punch people in public. Like, I've seen too many videos of that, where it's like, this, this YouTube prankster, he'll just run up to people and punch them in the face, and then leave. I'm like, you're not even pranking. You're just, you're actually fucking, not even harassment. You're fucking abusing random people. Like, you just punched some old guy in the face and walked away. That's not a prank. That's not, that's not like a fucking smack cam or some shit. Like, you just assaulted someone. Remember that one guy that was literally pulling guns at people's houses and running inside like the fucking FBI or something, bro? Oh my god. This is literally how motherfuckers get put on the news, bro. I also despise people who constantly make working people their victims in these videos. I'm willing to bet every penny I own that most of these niggas don't even like their job and you come around trying to make content out of them. This is why content creators get a bad rep, bro. And then there's those god-awful couple pranks that motherfuckers love to manufacture. The oh, couple pranks are so fucking stupid. I hate couples channels on YouTube. I'm not talking about family channels. I'm talking about, like, the dating couple channels that everybody's so attracted to, like, their life. And they all they do is just vlog it. And it's, like, people are obsessed with, like, oh, I want a relationship like this. Oh, fuck off, dude. Oh, my God. It's so stupid. So alarmingly fake and fabricated, bro. I seen one TikTok where this girl was acting like she was possessed to see how her boyfriend would react. And this nigga proceeds to start screaming like a fucking banshee and trying to wake her up, I guess. That's how I knew this shit was fake. Any black person would have ran a four flat in the opposite direction expeditiously. If my girl started floating in the air like a hot air balloon, I'm locking myself in the bathroom, calling the FBI, police, and my local pastor, bro. But these pranks are horrendous, and anybody that's developed past the stage of a zygote should be able to see through this bullshit. Now we gotta talk about those Spice King videos. If you're not familiar with these unrefined variants of TikTokers, they're pretty much niggas who ingest more hot food than the average high school thought. Oh they my god, are the one kid, yo, the one kid actually does some shit that's kind of crazy where he just eats really minty foods. He'll like fucking put a bunch of breath strips in and chew like mint gum and then chug ice cold water. And that's like entertaining, but a lot of the people overdo it. Where they'll be like eating a chamoy pickle with Takis and fucking tahin sauce. And all the, I'm like, dude, I don't care. Like, why am I watching a minute-long video of you throating a chamoy pickle for fucking three minutes just going and making the most obscene sounds that I've ever seen? They conjure up any food that has any type of spice. No reaction. No reaction. Chamoy eating a ghost pepper. Ice or heat and proceeded to devour all that shit like they've got absolutely no home training, bro. It usually involves some combination of Takis. Dude, dude, right here. That's not a chamoy pickle. That looks like a jalapeno with fucking Takis stuffed in the middle of it. Takis, jalapenos, or sriracha sauce. But most of these niggas cut the video after two seconds of them chewing. So you know they had to spit that shit out in between, bro. Because let's be honest here. There would be fighting demons on that toilet if they actually digested that shit. Your rectum would deadass turn into Niagara Falls, dog. There would be no hope for you. And then they nah, you ever see the one video of the guy that ate like a hundred one chip challenges in a row, though? That's a YouTuber, though. 100 Pocky One Chip Challenge. I commend that man. I commend that man who ate 100 One Chip Challenges in 30 minutes. I got Dick Timbati here. And his tongue starts swelling up and he can't talk. You know how bad shitting would be? Like, you know how fucking bad shitting that chat. I ate one Pocky One Chip Challenge, and my fucking intestines hurt when I took a dump. He, he got 60. 63. He doesn't get 100. He gets 66. Oh, my God. Like, I feel like you would actually die eating that much spice. Like, that would burn your insides. Got the nerve to talk about no reaction. Meanwhile, their face is turning more red than Lightning McQueen and tears start flowing down their face. But it's not just these so-called spice kings that ruffle my feathers. It's also these motherfuckers who eat the most ineffable and miscellaneous food items known to mankind. Like, what the fuck is this and why is it on the internet for millions to access? Bro, oh, yeah, that fucking thick ass, like, what, it, it, bologna, bologna slice and they're just dipping it in fucking, like, maple syrup. What the fuck is this and why is it on the internet for millions to access? Oh my god, and it has the emojis and they do, like, the check marks on what they eat. Access. Lord have mercy, bro, my stomach is hitting the worm this has to be some of the most repulsive and distasteful content on the internet can we also talk about those tiktokers who just utter the cringiest quotes that they got from twitter or something exhibit a birth control be like <laughs> like ben to wax. birth control be like you don't want kids fine here's some depression instead ho <laughs> you don't want any kids you know it's like uh i don't know if this is a fact but i heard this tell me if this is true or not women on birth control when they get off birth control, can just stop being attracted to the man that they're dating or woman that they're dating. 
because your hormones get all different. And so that is true. Dude, that's like creepy that you could just literally get off birth control and just immediately be repulsed by the person that you're dating. Fine. That happened to me. God, I feel like you would have to like, I, I feel like you would have to like the, you would have to, if you're dating somebody, I feel like if I was a woman, I would just be like, I got to go off birth control for like a month to see if I still find you attractive. And then I'll get back on it. Here's some depression instead, girl. Exhibit B. In the infinite cow, I became very nonchalant. But this is what y'all wanted, right? To me not give a fuck. <laughs> to me not give a fuck. Yo, I forgot about that, Tech Talker. Congratulations. Now I really don't give a fuck. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. This shit seems so forced, bro. I don't know who these niggas think they're impressing, but it can't be anybody with any type of self-respect. Who told Kenny Lofton to start posting TikToks? This shit makes my skin crawl more than a one-year-old baby. And I'm wholeheartedly convinced that this is harder to watch than the Jack Doherty stream. There's also those niggas who read tweets or those prehistoric Facebook quotes and let out the most fake laugh I think I've ever heard. I nah, what's worse, what's... I, I still think these creators are better than the motherfuckers that sit at the bottom of the screen and just take up space and play a video behind them. They don't say anything. They don't commentate anything. They don't even laugh. They just sit there just like at the bottom like this. And dude, it gets like 2 million views, 10 million views, just green screen, right? Like I use a green screen and motherfuckers diss me for reacting because like I am at, I am reacting to other people's content, right? So I'm not, it's not straight up original, but I would say I add enough to where it transforms the content. But that is a million times fucking worse. You're just sitting there and you're not even saying anything. I'm not even trying to sound like I'm discrediting people, but at least you could use some funny tweets. As a or, 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 the worst one, video plays, cuts to a person laughing, video ends, right? I might fucking do, I might stitch a video on TikTok and I'll giggle and then I'll fucking talk, but it'll be like the whole video plays, like a 20 second video, and then it cuts to somebody going, <laughs> for real. And then the video ends. Ah, for real. <laughs> On God, though. And then the video just ends. I'm like, dude, you literally just, you just added absolutely nothing. Rex Reno for the three. W vid so far. Some motherfuckers say I'm, I'm a sh no shit Sherlock type of motherfucker on TikTok where I just repeat what's happening in the video. And yeah, I have done that at time to time. But bitch, at least I'm not sitting there fucking... Uh, doing absolutely nothing or laughing and then the video ending. Chat, stop saying or, or, or like I'm a fucking seal. Corrupted for the three. Two years ago in seventh grade while I was in math, I ate the one chip challenge. Why? Don't ask. That was so dumb, but at least in math, uh, at least math was next. By the way, my history teacher ate two at lunch and was completely phased. You mean unfazed? Turtle and Dan for the sub. Yee for the sub. You imagine convincing your, your high school teacher that's like 80 years old to eat the one chip challenge. Hey, you want to try this new Dorito flavor? You give it to like your old English teacher. She just starts freaking out. As a matter of fact, can we just scrap all the content that have people who stitch videos just to add absolutely nothing to the original clip whatsoever? These oh my, oh my, that's spicy. Motherfuckers are really the SS sniper wolves of TikTok, bro. But I think it's gonna wrap everything up for this video, man. Comment down below the worst type of TikTokers, the worst type of TikTok content, you know what I'm saying? Anything like that, like and subscribe. Fucking W Vid. G Grimmy, G Grimy. How do you say his name? Next one. How Neuralink will change society forever. We haven't watched a video on Neuralink yet, and I'm actually pretty excited. Haven't the first Neuralink people, like, bug not learned Neuralink people, haven't the first experiments on real humans with Neuralink begun? Like, I saw a video of a guy controlling, he's, like, paralyzed, and he's controlling a mouse with his brain. That's so, how do you, how, do, how does that even work? That's what I don't understand. What is Neuralink? It's a thing that Elon, it's like a company Elon Musk has, and they basically implant a chip into your brain. 
And that chip enables you to use your brain to control technology. Acid for the sub. Neuralink's recent showcase of their brain chip has made this new age of technology seem that much more real. In the oddly low quality live stream, a man who is paralyzed from the neck down is able to control a computer cursor purely with his mind. Must climb. But how? Does he just sit there and go? Like, what do you do? How do you... Do I think in my head, move A1, and it moves A... Like, how does that ha How do you... How do I determine what I want to move and how it moves? I don't understand that. Like, I, uh, how do... You control it with your brain. Yeah, but how? Like, my just thought... I just think fucking night to E3 or some shit. Big boy in honor for the sub. Likens it to telepathy. But is it really the superpower he says it is? Or is it a marketing term to hide the truth? And I don't understand Bluetooth. I still don't understand Bluetooth. That's... I, I'm not gonna get this because I don't even understand how Bluetooth works. You're telling me it just connects? Like, I just I just connect to a speaker and whatever I'm sending just sends, like, we waves to another thing and then it starts playing on the speaker? I don't get it. I don't get it. Big boy for the sub, honor for the sub. True implications of what this technology could mean. If you've seen Black Mirror or even really thought about brain chips, you'll know there's some dark possibilities associated with the idea. But as we've seen recently, Neuralink and other brain chip companies have been quick to focus on the medical potential. It's obviously true that there's some amazing things this can do. How oh, they get that fucker in your brain too? They gotta cut my head open? Or do they just drill a little hole and put it in? You know? Like, are they, are they going, Ehh. And then taking my head off, taking my, my skull off, and then implanting a chip in it. That's so scary. That's so scary. Dude, you're really you get one? Dude, if everybody got one, yeah. What would I do with it, though? I feel like it'd be fucking useless right now. I'm gonna control some shit with my mind? Laser's live stream is proof of that. You can like it makes sense for somebody that's paralyzed, but it's like there's no point in me having a brain chip right now. And see the effect this technology is having in restoring the faculties and freedom that we take for granted. Oh, they're dead ass plugged into their brain. That would freak me out. That would freak me out so much. That some people have lost. Playing chess, and so this is one of the things that y'all have enabled me to do. Something that. I wasn't able to really do much the last few years, especially not like Dude, this. he's moving the mouse with his mind! How? Um, I had to use like a mouse stick and stuff, but now it's all, uh, it's all being done with my brain. If y'all can see the cursor moving around the screen, that's, that's all me, y'all. Um, it's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Actually, can you pause the song just for the yeah. audio? Yo, what if you started having some, um, like random thoughts? Or some shit. You know, you got those intrusive thoughts. He just starts looking up, like, random things. <laughs> like, if it got that advanced, where his mind just starts, like, Googling shit. Coming through. But how does it's this probably even... not that advanced. It's Right now, it's probably like he could just move a cursor. Work. It sounds like something straight out of 1984. And medical things aside, how does a brain chip in your brain allow you to restore your mental faculties? Well, right now, these chips, which are around the size of a quarter, can only read information and transmit it to an outside source. After being surgically attached to the brain, the chip sensors detect neuron activity and translate it into a digital signal. This can then be sent to external devices, which is what's been happening in the live stream. We see Nolan, the man in the video, playing chess by using the experimental chip. As he imagines where the cursor should go next, it responds to his thoughts and moves across the screen. It's excellent program. How does it read your thoughts? It has to be brain waves, right? Like it's reading like a wave as an input and maybe some sort of activity. How is it reading my thoughts? How does it read my thoughts? I don't understand that. Honor and big for the sub. Considering the first human trials only started at the turn of the year, just a few months before the live stream. You can imagine the possibilities beyond this though, like controlling other devices like wheelchairs or anything else really, to walking again with prosthetics or even repairing the connection to people's own limbs. In fact, this is something we've already started to see from Swiss researchers that Musk has funded. In the middle of May of 2023, a neural chip implanted into a paralyzed man enabled him to walk again for the first time. One chip in his brain records the signals sent by motor neurons in his brain. This then links to a similar 
solid chip in his spine, which sends electrical signals to the nerves in his legs. Over a long period of training, Oscam, who was paralyzed for over a decade, can suddenly walk again. The results are- But is the walking the same as how we walk where we're just doing it? Or is he actively thinking, move my right foot, move my left foot, move my right foot, move my left foot? Samuel and Tuts for the sub. Like, you can subconscious, like, I, you can just go. And I'm not even thinking about it, right? Like, I'm just moving my arms wherever, like, I, it's, it's just happening. And then I could go, oh, left, right, left, right, left, right. But I could just kind of, like, aimlessly throw them around. They're absolutely miraculous and incredibly promising for the future. We'll never know. Well, I mean, if you fucking asked him, he would say. Larry's up well. For more than a decade, Gert Jan Oskam has been trying to relearn to walk. A motorbike accident in his late 20s left him paralyzed from the hips down, changing his life forever. But now, Oscom is back on his feet, thanks to groundbreaking digital implants in his brain and his spine. After two days, within five to ten minutes, I could control my uh, hips. Although obviously it's still highly experimental and there's a few caveats. Can't be used constantly only for a few hours a week, but it's still worlds away from nothing at all. And in this sense, Neuralink is amazing. Technology like this in the right hands and treated with great care can change the lives of millions of people for the better. But this is just a tiny part of Neuralink. You see, even Elon Musk has admitted that this isn't the primary purpose of Neuralink. Even in a benign scenario, we're kind of left behind. You know, we're, 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 not, we're not along for the ride. Um, we're just too dumb. Right. So, so, so how do you go along for the ride? Yeah, it's like you can't beat him, join him. The real purpose, the true core fundamental reason, is for humanity's battle against AI. But of course, this isn't a very marketable- Wait, to like, make us smarter than AI? idea telling people that they need to be plugged in to elon musk's brain chip to fight off ai just seems so ridiculous and so right now neuralink and similar companies are focusing solely on medical research because this will be the only acceptable way they can make this technology mainstream in the first place because as the technology gets better it will see far more use to treat patients with nerve damage and other medical issues but at some God, point it fucking hurts it'll pass the barrier from being a medical tool into a genuine consumer product just like an iphone and you can be absolutely sure that that's what elon musk and others like him have in mind they openly admit it and we're, we're already we're already a cyborg to some degree right because you've got your phone you got your laptop glasses your, yeah yeah guitar yeah. would you do it Ugh, i don't know if you could replace your body parts with with hyper realistic parts but they're like robot arms would you do it like you would still have feeling but it would be like artificial yeah oh fucking yeah oh 100 percent. if it not i don't want like metal arms but if i could have like some cyborg shit like i could have a fucking arm that is also like a flamethrower yeah like cyberpunk type stuff where it's like it's still real and you feel it and you can control it regularly but it's basically just like a a fucking hyper advanced limb. You know, sure. electronic devices. Yeah. You might expect it to not offer much to able bodied individuals. Our hands and our senses are easily. Skippable brain ads. Yeah, that'd be awful. They just start playing fucking Taco Bell ads in my thoughts. Oh, that would be fucking. Oh, that would be so bad. Dude, I, if that ever. They would. I, imagine if they did that. Like, we all got brain trips, and then it was just like, we all just started thinking about Taco Bell. I'd be like, bro, fuck off. Like, trying to get it out of your head. Want to break from the ads? Pay extra. Pay extra per month. And now we won't inject fucking Arby's We Have the Meats ads into your fucking brain. Toot Samuel and x -Quirt for the sub. Big boy honor. Uh, ask him for the sub or x for the sub, uh, for the three. Says W vid so far. Thank you. Yo, and a lot of these vids are from you guys. Do you have any other videos you would like me to react to or games you want me to play? Exhibition by Discord. Join the Discord. Video slash have game slash chat. It's how I find most of the videos that I watch and games that I play able to do all the things that we can imagine that these neural chips will help with. Right now, there seemingly isn't much point or any need to beam a news article or a TikTok video straight into your brain, especially if reading it is far easier and far more natural, let alone way less dystopian. In the same way, it seems like a hassle to get chipped and play computer chess with your mind when a mouse and keyboard can do the same job. Having a hole drilled into your head and a brain chip implanted there doesn't seem like the funnest idea, let alone by a private company looking to make a profit, and God knows how they'll try and monetize this. 
adverts directly beamed into your brain, your innermost thoughts sent off and monitored by foreign governments. And this is why tech billionaires and investors are going all in on this technology. Because once properly developed, it'll tear down the last Yo, barrier between the- Yo, if they start monitoring our thoughts and then advertising things to us, oh my fucking God. That would be on a whole nother level. You know when you're having a conversation about something and then you look on your phone and like you have an ad for it and you've never fucking looked it up before or some shit? That always freaks me out. But imagine you're just like talking about something or you're just like thinking about like just an advert and then you see it, right? I'd be like, holy shit. Rex Reno for the three. If you think this neural, neural link stuff is crazy, you should see the tools in the process they take in order to cut parts of the skull off, let alone put something on your brain. Yeah. Brain and the digital world. So let's go into this further through the lens of communication. Before telecommunications and all the innovations of the past few hundred years, you only really had two options for conveying complex information. Either you could say something to someone if they were close enough, or you could write them a letter. It could take weeks or even months for information to travel long distances. As time went on though, we slowly figured out faster and better methods and that delay got cut down to almost nothing. Fast forward to today, and the internet means we can know about things happening across the world within literal seconds of them happening. In fact, the travel of information is so seamless and instant that we're assaulted with it at nearly every waking moment. So many of our experiences and the information we gain about the world is no longer from the actual world around us. Instead, it comes from this new digital dimension that we've been submerged in. It still isn't a perfect connection though. As Mark I still find that, I don't know, I find it less crazy. Uh in comparison to the past, I find the idea that you could send instant, like, messages less crazy than the fact that we can travel across the world in less than a day when that used to take people years, right? Like, getting a message one place to another, yeah, that's kind of crazy. Oh, I could, like, FaceTime somebody that's in fucking Japan, right, in the U.S., but it's more wild that I could physically transport my body there in, like, an hour. Not an hour to Japan. I'm saying, like, say you have to go... Like, an average drive that you do that's 30, 45 minutes would take somebody eight hours in 200 years ago to move that far. I mean, but then the counter-argument is, like, hey, you couldn't even communicate with somebody that was, that was that far away. You would have to have somebody physically transfer a letter. That's even crazier. You would have somebody that was tasked with boating across the world to deliver a letter to you, and but now you could just text someone. Like, a king wanting to talk to another king would have to hire somebody to go and deliver something and then deliver something back. And now you could just be like, yo, what's up? Down for the sub. Zuckerberg has lamented in his appearance on Joe Rogan. I mean, it's it's great to be able to make phone calls and video calls and all that. I mean, if you can't be with someone today, you know, it's nice to be able to see their face. But when you're on a video call, you don't actually feel like you're there with the person. Some people might say it's good to keep at least one foot in reality, but that's not the future being pushed by the people with real control over the world. They want a seamless connection so they can have more influence over people's lives and therefore make way more money. The further we go into the digital realm, the more reliant we are on their products and inventions. Zuckerberg wants to make the illusion stronger and suck people in further through the use of virtual reality in the metaverse. The more immersive the experience, the more effective it is as a product. But Neuralink threatens to go one step further. Once they've solve the problem of giving information to the brain rather than just receiving it, that's the last hurdle to jump over. We'll be able to express our thoughts to other people and get theirs back within milliseconds. You would be able to communicate very quickly and with far more precision. Online content will get sent straight to your brain and it will become like a sixth sense, enabling people to- No, that would be weird. You would literally be able to watch a show through your eyeballs. Like, they could input something that you would perceive. Open up their minds and fully connect them to the digital world. This connection with the digital world isn't necessarily a good thing. If you thought people weren't really paying attention to the world wow. around them. I don't think we're going to see that. I think we're all going to die before it gets really crazy. But say the world doesn't explode and we all don't kill each other. I think our, our grandchildren, like Gen Z's grandchildren, will be like half fucking integrated into a technological world entirely than before this will be yet another step in that direction what if you got hacked yeah that would be a worry at least today there's still oh my god your fucking brain chip gets hacked 
the barrier of taking your phone out of your pocket and everyone knows you're not listening. With the neural implants of the future, it would be pretty much impossible for internet addicts to resist being online 24-7. Apart from making people annoying to talk to though, this interconnection would only make the worst kinds of internet groupthink more common. It'll mean people are truly replacing their own thoughts with information given to them by the internet. Our brains naturally take the easy route whenever there's an option. It's an evolutionary adaption designed to save calories and prevent us needlessly wasting energy. But just as it backfired in our modern world of junk food and cheap entertainment, it'll backfire again with neural implants. Easy access to junk food takes away the work you once needed to get that many calories, and it ends up eventually making the majority of people overweight and unhealthy. Around 50 years after the rise of fast food in the 70s, and the population is far weaker, more cancerous, less capable physically than they once were. And by doing the same to complex thought and cognitive skills, by giving people chips that do it for them, we risk the exact same problems. A world of people made dumber because machines do the thinking for them. Even if brain chips do make us smarter overall though. Yeah, I don't like, do you think, do you think we as a generation are smarter than boomers when they were our age? I, I think in in broad knowledge, yeah, I think we scale quickly, but I think they had more on hand they could pull from their mind knowledge. I think we're applicably better, and I think we know and learn quicker than boomers did. But, like, somebody in the 1940s at the age of 20 had a lot more on hand knowledge than we do now we're just able to rely on things to aid us that we don't know right we could fill the gaps easier than they could they had less gaps we have wider knowledge yeah it's like it, it's so there's different levels of smartness but i will say that is if it continues that trend, obviously, yeah, we could scale, like, in terms of fucking how quick we can learn things and all that other shit. But ideally, or not ideally, but realistically, it could get to the point where there's not even need for you to fucking learn anything. Because anything that you would ever need done, you could just fucking get a computer to do for you. Dom for the sub, little for the three, which is bad. So then, I don't want to say I, I think Neuralink's good. But I think if you were able to implant like an AI knowledge into your mind and kind of not, not like effectively upload knowledge, that would not be bad. It would be a solution to the problem of, hey, we don't have, it would like, it would just make you know shit. Like you would just upload shit into your fucking memory. That would that be bad? Like, would you guys say that's bad? You could you could abuse it, but I think that the idea of saying, "Hey, th like, look, in, in, the, instead of I need to study for this test, I don't know this," you could just go, "Boom," and just w and like immediately wedge all of your biology knowledge into your fucking mind, like just immediately upload it. Okay, I know this shit now, and you just know it. Like, there's no studying, there's no need to memorize it, you just fucking know it. Like, that would be good. What's the point of school, then? You would fucking eliminate school. You would just, everybody would have a, an unlimited task of knowledge. You would just have to learn, You would li your, your school would just be up uploading shit into your brain. School would still be there to socialize people, I think. Wow. Dude, the future's gonna be weird. We're all gonna be dead. But 200 years from now, I really think humans are not even going to really be, like, what the fuck we are now. It's going to be creepy. Like, society's just going to be, hey, I can fucking upload this into my mind. I would feel useless. I mean, you would feel useless, but why? Because you would have the same knowledge. It would remove the gap of smarts. That would be weird as well. If everybody could have the same knowledge, then there would be no differentiation in somebody being smarter than somebody else. Unless you use that memory, I think you could I think that's where critical thinking applies. I think you adding the idea of having to give people all the knowledge is one thing and then it's just whether or not they can critically think. What about money? I don't know. I don't know. I really I I don't know how that would even work a society. Fuck, man. Eventually, you could just have everything done for you. But then where do we progress, right? Society always wants to progress. You want to get smarter, more futuristic. Then what do you do? You got to go to other planets.
realistically. Then we're just going to start, humans would just start fucking conquering other galaxies and shit. But that would be, we're, we're going to be long gone by then. Ozzy even the sub, little for the three. Me thinking about the Riz I want to put in a girl, her also having Neuralink looking at me and saying, ew. Rex Arena for the three. Alrighty, with that. It won't even be close to an equal spread. This technology isn't going to turn people into supercomputers overnight. What if you ran out of storage in your mind? I think your brain's capacity is much higher. I think they know how much memory can you have in your brain. The memory capacity of a human brain is equivalent to 2.5 petabytes of memory. A petabyte means 1,024 terabytes or a million gigabytes. So the average human brain can accumulate, can have the accumulate information of 2.5 million gigabytes of memory. But like, what is that in comparison to? How much, how much memory does the average brain have, right? Because you have a capacity for memory, but then you also have what your memory is. I don't know. Like, how much memory do we have stored right now? How much, how much memory does the average brain have stored right now? It just keeps giving me the same article. That's why I fucking hate Google. See, this is why when I want, when I have my Neuralink in my fucking brain, I'm gonna go beep boop, and it's just gonna fucking let me know the answer. It doesn't even say. It just tells you how much you can store. But then how much do we have stored right now? 100 gigabytes. I have about 1 megabit. My memory consists of the meme skibbity toilet, and that's it. Just like a a, a JPEG image of, of skibbity toilet. But it's it the does only thing. ...have real potential to destabilize the playing field. You can imagine delegating parts of your thoughts to AI using these chips. You could use the chip to instantly work out how to split the check at a restaurant, or recall specific details that you can't quite remember. Later down... Alright, you gotta be a dumbass to not know how to fucking split the check and just do the tip. You could... It's just math. You, it fucking takes you 10 seconds. On the line, you can imagine people storing their memories and things they want to remember digitally, then calling back to them later on using the implants. Because the International Monetary Fund has warned that 40% of all jobs around the world will be impacted by AI. It says the effect is even more pronounced in the developed world, where 60% of roles will be affected. According to the IMF, half of us will benefit from higher productivity. Some people can't even read? Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Fucking, we talked about that already. Chat, guess the guess the percentage of the U.S. population that's fucking illiterate. Can't read at all. I, I don't believe it. I, I read this statistic every time and I don't believe it. 21%. 21% of U.S. adults are illiterate. That's not possible. That's not... You're telling me one-fifth of the U.S. can't read. 54% of adults in the U.S. have a literacy rate below 6th grade. I mean, I remember hearing that, like, in the military, they have, like, the way they have the training set is that, like, a third grader can read it. Like, you have to, if you have, like, if you're training a wide array of people to do something, it has to be, like, consumable by a third grader. 79% of U.S. adults are literate. Okay, so 79% of people can read. 54% of those people that can read have it below 6th grade. How can you not read anything? I don't get that. Like, the people in, the people in my chat can read. Some of you guys might have a literacy level below 6th grade. But you guys can fucking read because you're typing. There have to be, like, there's people that would be looking at my chat, and it's just, it's like they're reading fucking Spanish. Like, it doesn't make sense. They don't get what's happening. How? How? How do you know? How do you, how do you live? How do you pass school? How do you get through? Like, I understand, oh, you might be able to drop out or some shit. How do you fucking pass high school? How do you pass middle school without being able to fucking read? You don't? 
Bro, somebody said Amish people. Bro, Amish people isn't 21% of the United States. Homeschooled kids? Bro, homeschooled kids are probably better at it. There has to be 21% of US adults. That means there's kids in y'all's high schools that can't fucking read. At all. At all. They can't read. They don't know how to read. What are they? So when they open their book to page 10 with the rest of the class, what the fuck are they doing? Just staring at the words confused? And if there's a kid in my chat that, how do you navigate social media? How do you fucking live without being able to read any language at all? Bro said immigrants. Bro, immigrants know how to read. They don't know how to read English. That's not illiterate. Illiterate means you can't read anything. You are ill. You, uh, you don't have any literacy. You can't read. What? How? Dyslexia. That's not illiterate, bro. Dyslexia means you're going to mix up fucking letters. You can still... To be dyslexic, you have to be able to read. If you can't read at all, you wouldn't know you're dyslexic. To be dyslexic, you have to be able to read in some margin. How are... How... How are... How is 21% of the U.S. illiterate? I don't get it. I literally don't get it. Why are there so many illiterate adults? We're reading a Quora post. <sighs> Give a teacher 50 minutes to actually teach without tests or homework and the kids learn. What? Let me, let me read this. Let me read this. Let me read this. Hold up. Chat, I'm sorry if people find this boring. I find this the most fascinating thing in the fucking world. That a fifth of the U.S. can't read. I don't understand that. It's 2024, dude. PIAAC defines literacy as the ability to understand, evaluate, use, and engage with written text to participate in society, to achieve one's goals, and to develop one's knowledge and potential. Four in five U.S. adults have English literacy skills sufficient to complete tasks that require comparing and contrasting information, paraphrasing, or making low-level inferences. One in five U.S. adults have difficulty completing basic literacy tasks, meaning they can't compare info, they can't paraphrase, they can't reference things that they've read. 43, U 43 million U.S. adults have a literacy level, have low literacy level skills, 26.5 million at level one and 8.4 million below level one, meaning they can't fucking read. 8.5, 8.4 million U.S. adults can't fucking read. 26 of them can read, but they can't fucking read well, like at all, like that of like a, a first grader. Dude, like how are you 45 years old and you can't, I, I don't understand that. Somebody said autism. That's not, I mean, yeah, you could, you could factor in people that might be disabled, but that's not that large of a population to the point where that and autistic, just because you're autistic doesn't mean you can't fucking read. There's autistic people in this chat that are reading the chat right now. Autism doesn't mean you're illiterate. U.S. born adults make up two thirds of adults with low levels of English literacy skills in the United States. The non-U.S. born are overrepresented among such low-level skilled adults. Non-U.S. born citizens comprise 34% of the population with low literacy skills compared to the 15% of the total population. Yeah. So non-U.S. born citizens are more illiterate than U.S. citizens. However, that's in English. Dude, 8.4 million people in the U.S. can't fucking read. What? I, I I gotta move on. I'm just gonna sit here flabbergasted by this. Little pickle for the three. Are blind people technically illiterate? No, because you could read Braille. You could read you could read in your their language that they read in would not be just seen English. Mister for the three. Any chance you would play Hotline Miami even though it's eleven years old? Uh, I'll check it out. Send it in the game session tab. Loose for the three. I watched a 10 minute. I think I have looked at it and it didn't look good. I don't remember though. Watch 10 minutes of Skippy Toilet. Now my brain's melting out of my ears. Aussie for the sub. 
Couldn't you just make something taste better? What? Oh, with a brain chip? Teal for the three. I'm autistic and I can read just fine. Yeah, I, autistic people can read. I mean, there are probably some people that are autistic that can't read, but I just because you're autistic doesn't mean you can't. You Just because you're autistic doesn't mean you can't read. But the other half... Uh, I can't read, Joe. You typing you can't read means you can read. The rise of AI could see lower salaries, uh, reduced hiring, and even some jobs disappearing altogether. You can do a lot of this with your smartphone already, but as the technology progresses, it will give people who can afford it a leg up on everybody else, making the IQ be slightly higher at all times than the rest of the population, giving them a huge advantage in almost every field you can. Joe, it, that's like talking about languages. Since you can't, since you can read, it's crazy that other people can't. So look at it from a language perspective. It amazes you that Spanish people can't speak or read English for you, yet it's opposite because you are fluent in the language. Yeah, but I'm not going to look. Yeah, it fascinates me that I can't read Mandarin, right? But it doesn't fascinate me that somebody born in China can read Mandarin, right? It does fascinate me that somebody born in the United States through the American education system can't fucking read the language they speak. Rachel for the three. Like, that, like, have you, when I'm, when I'm talking, right, if I'm thinking in my head, I can write out what I'm saying, right? I know they're different. Spoken English and written English are different, right? Same thing with every language. Spoken Spanish is different from written Spanish because the, what I'm saying right now is W, what is W-H-A-T, right? What? But to somebody that can't read, they're just saying the word what. It has no correlation to anything that's written. That's fucking crazy. You're speaking, but you can't relate it to words. Like if I'm talking right now or any of you guys are talking, you can relate your thoughts to words. You can relate your thoughts to letters and spell. They can't fucking do that. They can, they can talk, but they can't relate it to anything. Like, it's just they're speaking. They can't relate it to words. They can't relate it to letters. They can't relate it to fucking anything. Jack for the fucking two subs and the three. Happy Easter. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Smack for the sub. Rachel for the three. I work with a severely nonverbal, with severely nonverbal autistic kids, and I have a student who knows how to read very well. Yeah. Sans for the three. My dad couldn't go to school because he had to work for his family and dropped out of school at five, so he can't read in his native language nor in English. But even with that, he's still extremely successful. But how does he, like, file taxes or pay bills? Like, I don't... That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I understand the, the life somebody could live to where they can't read, right? But if you can't... How do you... How do I... Like, if you're an adult, you have to pay your gas bill and you have to read stuff right? Like, I don't understand. And maybe if you have somebody do it for you, many immigrants can't read for X. Uh, example, in Mexico, many of my family couldn't go to school. Rustin for the sub, Lithail for the three. I just don't understand how you pay stuff. Like, how, how, how you pay bills. How you know how much... Like, if somebody... Like, self-checkout at a grocery store. Self-checkout at a grocery store. How do you... How do you know what you owe? Like, numbers is different, but if it's, like, insert card, and it just says insert card, you don't know what it's telling you to do. I have a coworker who can't read. He's a completely normal guy, and you would never know unless he told you. The booty for the five. Happy Easter, Bart. Do you recognize my name? Yes. I'm just, I'm, I, 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 it doesn't make sense to me. I, I, it just doesn't. You can think of further isolating the elites from the rest. Because obviously, all the benefits of this technology won't go to the many. It will go to a very select few Silicon Valley titans who can afford it. Allowing them to become symbiotic with AI. Or whilst the rest of humanity suffers the consequences of the AI revolution. Even when it does eventually become accessible to the general population, those at the top will have been ahead for years. For the entirety of human history, the difference between the rich and the poor has been limited to external factors. Things like a better diet, education, and an easier, healthy lifestyle style make a difference, but we're all still human. Given the most powerful people of all, faster and more effective brains changes this dynamic forever. It'll make climbing up the ladder almost impossible because all the people above you are just inconceivably smarter using a brain chip in their mind, allowing them to have access to tools you could only imagine. A lot of this still sounds okay when it's in the hands- How do they get a fucking driver's license? Hold up. I haven't- I was playing the video and I stopped fucking thinking about it. How do you drive? You have to pass a written test to fucking drive. How are you fu- How are you- How do you- How do you go any- How do you do anything? I don't get- 
I don't get it. I don't, I, I, I what the fuck? Like, uh, dude, you have to pass a written test to fucking drive. And you have to read it. Take the bus. Bro, okay, yeah, public transportation. I guess. Oh, my God. Like, oh, fuck. I, it's just, I don't, I, oh, my God. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I really don't understand it. Or you live in an apartment complex. How do you know that a package is yours? You can't read, can you write your, I'm assuming even if you're illiterate, you know your name. That would be a basis thing. If you can't read at all, you still probably know your name. You know how to write your name. So if it says your name, it's yours. Sam for the sub. Text to speech? They're not going to let you take it like that. If you go to the DMV and you're like, hey, I need to take a fucking, I need, a, I need to get my license. I don't know how to read. They're going to say, well, you shouldn't be driving. Or say, say you are illiterate and you somehow get a fucking license and you're driving. Exit eight. What is that? I don't know. 50 MPH. Now, what's that? I don't know. Check engine light. What does that mean? I, f what the fuck? Love for the sub. I don't get it. It's a responsible people walking towards- They read it. They can't read. I don't- It's the good of humanity. What about when that doesn't happen? Well, it's a sad fact that the world is sliding towards autocracy and dictatorship. As of 2022, over 70% of the world lives under some kind of dictatorship, a statistic that's still growing today. We're seeing this rampantly across the world and even authoritarianism within the US itself. And as we've been warned by books like 1984, which we did a huge video on, which you can check out here, I explained that we're now seeing 1984 in our own world. Dictatorships are happy to exploit the tools of control that technologies give them, just like a China or Russia's mass internet censorship or their facial recognition cameras aimed at every street corner. As our lives get more and more intertwined with technology, the degree to which they can be controlled by outside forces only goes up. So what happens when we put technology straight into our brains? Well, there's a lot of disturbing possibilities. For centuries, authoritarian governments have dreamed of the ability to control the thoughts of their citizens. They could do it indirectly through propaganda, social pressure, and fear. But Neuralink and other technologies like it could make this a reality. Sure, we can only really read motor functions and basic commands that go up right now, but that's all gonna change very soon. To actually read our thoughts, on a much deeper level, these chips and the computers they connect to need to be able to interpret what specific neurons firing in specific Somebody redeemed that. TR for the sub. Chat, we gotta get off the fucking people that can't read comment. I wanna finish this video. How many more do we have? Oh, God. Yeah, we're not gonna finish all these, chat. There's no fucking shot. Patterns actually mean. Even though we have around 100 billion neurons, this isn't as hard as it seems. Our current AI models, while limited in a bunch of ways, excel at sorting through and noticing patterns in massive databases. In fact, we already have AI models that can translate silent thoughts into words on a screen. Subjects wearing a special cap which monitors brain signals can see their thoughts expressed in front of them with up to 60% accuracy. They would read the sentence slightly and the- Street times are made in specific shape and color and teach them those they can read numbers still. Yeah. You've only been live for three hours. It's going to be a shorter-ish stream today. We'll still do this video, this video, and this video, but I'll probably skip that one. AI could tell what the sentence was Easter. without any other inputs. Never mind reading people's texts and what they share with their phones. This technology could expand to actual mind reading in a few years. Love hungover Joey's philosophical. Dude, I'm a fucking philosophy major in college. Rather than decades. These newer scientists at the University of Texas in Austin say they've made a major breakthrough. They've figured out how to translate brain activity into words using artificial intelligence. And you can't expect a taters not to salivate over the idea of just this. It could give rise to the literal thought but Bro, cheap pickle. I got a VIP, you, bro. Please. Following up on tips given to them by the helpful AI watchdog reading people's brainwaves. If that's not a cyberpunk dystopia, I don't even know what is. Imagine a world where just thinking the wrong thing could get you jailed for hate speech. These are all problems for the future, but what about right now? We're already seeing some of the potential issues that these implants can create, even just as medical treatments. Retinal implants are similar to neural implants, but instead they act as a replacement for damaged optic nerves. It's an amazing technology which can give rudimentary sight to people that thought they had lost it forever. But some people People who've had these implants had their sight cruelly taken away again. In one case, a woman received an optic implant to fix a genetic condition which made her blind. But four years later, it suddenly stopped working and shut down, plunging her back into darkness. The company who made the implant had wow. completely stopped supporting it and weren't willing to help at all. Another company has recently taken up the technology again. So in this specific case, all hope wasn't completely lost. It won't be that way though all the time. And lingering questions about the difficulty of upgrades and the lifespans of implants still plague the industry today. And these are just some 
some of the many, many problems the neural implants and this technology could bring to the world. But I don't want to go full on conspiracy mode, considering this technology has only just been tested out on humans. But we haven't even dipped into the problems with actual mind control, thought interference, and- Bro, where you fucking implant it into an animal and get them to fucking understand you. I know their brains, so I, I feel like if you get to the level, if you get this in depth, you could do something to where you could get. I, I obviously the the fucking genetic makeup of an animal's brain is probably not going to enable them to learn a language. So there's probably a bunch of jump arounds there that would in, in, in enable make it not possible to fucking enable an animal to understand you. However, that would be crazy if you had like a high, if you had a highly intelligent like dolphin and you implanted something into their brain, you could possibly get them to understand something. Like, Sam for the sub, Little Pickle for the three. So you like Cheap Pickle more than Little Pickle? Well, I just know who Cheap Pickle is. Liminal for the sub. Well, uh, Leafe for the three. Street Signs already read that. What it really means to be human. There's also other problems that we might not have any idea are on the horizon waiting for us. In our relatively free countries, we will be able to refuse the implant altogether. But how long can that last? We already saw the vaccine passports and how we were forced to have it by governments across the West. Especially for those of us who are unfortunate enough to live under real tyrants. That might not be the case. You might not have any choice but to have a government mandated chip implanted into your skull. But even in developed democracies, we must be wary not to sacrifice any more of our- And would you do it when they're a child? I feel like that'd be unsafe, because your brain grows along alongside your skull. So I'm thinking that you would have to- it would be like when your brain stops growing, they would implant the chip. Which would be 25. So I wouldn't even be eligible for a brain chip yet. <laughs> our freedoms- You're not gonna get me yet! The latest technology, as we might never get them back. I would never do this. Chunkles and Sands for the sub. I wouldn't want to go through the surgery procedure. Sam for the sub. Dude, and I remember they they have some stuff that's like you could have it on the outside of your ear. And I read something about that. And it, it, it does something similar. Not nearly as good as uh, Neuralink. But it can like read your brainwaves. Like I feel like I would do an outside thing that I could take off if I didn't fucking want it. But you can plant a brain chip in my head. What if I don't want it anymore? Now I just got it. That would fucking suck. Alright. Next video. Crabby Daddy. Haven't watched this shit in fucking forever. Carton Arts video. Oh, God. Oh, pardon me, sir. Mark of Tears, what's happening here is... I will say I have he's been waiting here for a long time. But he was right here. He was right. He aquí por por más minutos, sir. But aquí though. Yo, you know the coolest thing is when I see people that know multiple languages have a conversation in two different languages. Like, I had one of my um, friends when I was younger, he, I, this was like back in fucking like elementary, middle school, he spoke Spanish and English, and his mom would talk to him in Spanish, and he would just respond in English, and then sometimes it would be the reverse. Where she would, they would just be having a conversation and he would just, re they would just respond. I'm like, how do they decide what language they want to speak in? And some of you guys could probably do that, right? There's probably people that know multiple languages in my chat. How do you determine, like, it, 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 they'll just jump randomly from like English to Spanish, English to Spanish, English to Spanish. And it'll, it's not like just one side Spanish, one side English. They'll just keep doing it. I'm like, how the fuck do you determine which one you're, which language you're going to respond in? Oh. It's just my normal instinct, so you're just, like, randomly just, like, in English, and then you say something else in fucking whatever other language you know. Cheats for the five. Happy Easter, brother. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Rachel for the three. Don't know if you remember a month ago I said I needed surgery for this rare eye disease. I have uh, I have it, and it was finally approved by insurance, and I'm getting the surgery on the 23rd. I hope that's I hope that fucking goes well. Uh, let me know how it goes. I could drive at night again if it goes well. That's good. N uh, Deposa for the sub. Do you have, like, a, does it give you, like, some form of night blindness? Oh. Aquí, sí. Oh. Para, yeah. para más minutos. My light is flashing. What do you want me to do? Stay in the middle? You were maybe over the... Allí. No, aquí. Why are they fucking arguing? Like, dude, there's other spots. Gracias, señor. Thank you.
Thank you for your help. No problem. I hope uh, my broken Spanish was, I think it kind of got to him. Dude, what the fuck? Why doesn't he just park in the spot over there? What the fuck are they freaking out about? There's like two spots right there. Thanks for stopping. <laughs> Cardnarks, not only here for the carts, conflict, <laughs> uh, de-escalation. Moment of truth for a man in the black truck. Oh no. Looks like he's gonna be doing a sidewalk block. Oh, that's not where the cars go. That's the wee woo, wee woo, lazy bones alert. Lazy bones. That's not where the cart goes. What if somebody wants to stroll on the sidewalk and they trip and decapitate themselves from hitting your shopping cart? Beep boop. Scoop a doop boop. What if they die? Sidewalk. Cart returns right over that way. It's uh on this side, on this side, on this, see right there? Like five, six blocks that way? Exactly. Yes, sir. Well, because that is the, the, you know, the walkway here, right? You have somebody just hired to, to move. A concierge. That would be nice. That would be nice. Not a bad idea. Thank you, sir. <laughs> that's your sticker, sir? Yeah. <laughs> Love your work, man. Thank you, sir. He didn't fight me. You saw that. He was nice. No, yeah, he was nice. Well, he was. He, was, he gave me a little lip, but he didn't fight me, which yep, is good. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks for stopping, sir. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, oh, who left this cart right here? Who would do such a thing? Imagine he actually like vandalized their vehicle. Like somebody somebody leaves their cart there, he fake trips on it and just fucking punctures a hole through their windshield. Just breaks their fucking car. Who left this cart right here? Who would do who left this card right here? Oh, oh, who left this Oh, oh, who left this cart? Oh, who left this cart right here? Oh, who left this Fucking walk around it? What are you, an NPC? Fucking walk, walk around the cart. Such a thing. The cart returns right over there. What a strange thing to do, to do, to leave a, there's a guy behind you there, sir. Ah, yeah, yeah. Whoops, get, whoop, whoop. I think He's if you leave it in a spot like that, that's not that bad. Cause it's not in the way of parking spots. You know, somebody could grab it when they park. I would probably grab that cart and use that cart. If I'm going to the store, then I don't have to go to the cart cash area. Yeah, me? No, no, no. Thumbs down. Not thumbs up. Thumbs down. Thumbs up. You think, you think uh, Cart Narcs has, like, a heart attack whenever he sees, like, uh, a shopping cart, like, fucking five miles away from a grocery store that, like, some homeless guy stole? He has, like, a mental breakdown. He's like, oh, this is nowhere near where it needs to be. Thumbs up. He, he like, loads it up in his car and, like, detours. Thumbs up. No, I don't want a thumb. Oh, thumbs up, thumbs down. You should take this and put this over there. You gonna get out of it? Oh, yes, yes, yes. But no, he's not. He's leaving. What is going on here? What is, what is, what is, oh, here what is, it is. Where he's the gonna goes? throw the bumper sticker. Your cart's blocking the walkway. Next time. But, that, but it's there this time. Well, there's so much. Oh, oh, well, if you would... I have, I have a lot of complaints. I never do that. Yeah, you're getting... I have complaints that you don't open those doors. We have big life. <laughs> I don't work I for the store either. That is not important. That is very important. What's not important? People being able to walk through there? Like a mother with her stroller or a person with a wheelchair? Uh, exactly. Power scooter. Maybe just someone in a wheelchair. Dude, he sees somebody with one arm, no legs. He's like, uh, sir. Sir, your cart. Sir, I can see, I, I see I see you're hobbling with your one arm. Sir, can you put your cart back? With a cane. What if somebody else comes along with one arm and they need to get by and now they can't go on the crosswalk? This is not important. That is not important. This is that uh, we've heard this variation sometimes, Narcoteers, when there are people who are waiting for spots. Like, oh, I got to get out of here so uh, they can get the spot. First off, I just watched you take eight, ten minutes loading your car, so you weren't in a big rush then. And secondly, what if the person pulling in that spot, for instance, wants to use that walkway? Well, you just screwed him. I'm gonna use bro, this. No one uses the fucking walkways, bro. Like I'm just walking in the parking lot. If I'm being real, like if this if this is my car and I go over there, am I really gonna go? Eh, eh, I'm gonna go all the way across. I'm gonna take a fucking diagonal through the road, dude. This man is a perfect example of why we don't block these sidewalks with our carts. Because yes, there are cart guys all over here working and working and working. 
But this man right here, who I assume uh, lives you know, across the street there, he would have a real heck of a time getting through that. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Getting through, uh, appreciate him. I don't know what for, but <laughs> being nice. Uh, he would have a hard, heck of a hard time getting through this walkway if everybody's cart was piled up in it. So this guy was a hall monitor in school. Yeah, he'd fucking come into the bathroom, knock on the stall door. You been in there a while, lazy bones? You eat enough fiber today? You gotta get back to class, right? Skip it doop doop. Come on, open up. Perfect, perfect example. You see, it's actually free of carts now. I've, I've been clearing it out of this one for the uh, past half hour or so while I've been on patrol. Settle down, people. But uh, yeah, if you want your grandfather to have to deal with your lazy butt cart, by all means, leave it out here. But if I see you, I will stop you. We talk a lot about how can you tell when someone has left or is about to leave a cart? And so much of it is body language. This, as you're seeing, this uh, guy we're about to approach here in the silver sedan was several rows across from us. He's got a cart return over there. Not on this side, I don't think. But we saw kind of a, 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 a shoulder move, which is very indicative of what we're about to notice here. I'm pretty sure is, yep, a spot split. Ah. Terrible. Ay, ay, ay. Sir. Oh, he flipped me off. Oh, he's getting a magnet for that one. Wow. Yeah. Wait, hold up. Chat, I gotta go piss real quick. Shut me down in 30 seconds. Uh, we're back. All right, lock back in. Fish for the three. First time ever sending this. Anybody want to say on God? I probably would wouldn't have tried to kill myself if I had found your content earlier. You make me laugh, and I think you're really cool. Well, dude, if you're ever feeling suicidal, fucking reach out to somebody. Uh, and I'm glad I could help in some way. But oh my God, I might go for the sub. So I uh, we, we, didn't even give him the weedly whoop. I don't know if he saw the magnet. Now, Narketeers, <laughs> you might have noticed, we didn't even have a conversation with this guy. Is he gone? You just fucking sped yeah, away. Yeah. That's really what he should do. The people that he fucking interrogates, like, over here, like, if they start if they start talking to him, that's when all this fucking conflict starts. It's like, dude, somebody throws a fucking magnet on your car. I'm just driving away. He's gone, I think. Hold on, just in case. Oh, there he is. How's it going, sir? Hey, how's he it going? Is running over to this guy. Sir, you left your cart in the spot. Hey, you fucking asshole. Yeah. My in the car. Don't you fucking attack him. Do that. No, you won't, sir. Yeah. Oh, I would let him punch me. I would let him punch me, and then I would sue the fuck out of him. This guy running up saying he's going to beat you. Bruh, shut up. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Fuck you. Sir. Get over here. You don't fucking attack me. Bitch. I didn't attack you. Yeah, he really should just let this guy beat the shit out of him and then sue him. Like, what the fuck? Uh, sir, you're, steal you're stealing my little you. my fanny pack. I dodged your attack. See, that's an actual attack. What I did was put a magnet on your car. Oh, sir, I didn't- Rose, don't get near my daughter, you piece of- Nobody wants to get near your fucking daughter, buddy. Shut the fuck up. 
Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. See, this is when I get on his side. In general, I think Cartnarts is annoying as shit, but this guy's just a fucking loser. No, your daughter. My daughter's in the car. You didn't even say anything about your fucking daughter. He said he didn't put your card away, dickhead. What does that? So why do you leave your card out? Does she know you're wrong, Joe? This guy's attacking him. You want to see you behave like this? All he did was says was said you didn't put your card away, and the guy tried to beat him up. Yes. Of course not, sir. You're being a, bad, a poor example. My daughter's in the car. Now, Narcoteers. It's actually a perfect example. He threw a sticker on his car, though? Bro, but he said you attacked me. I would not claim that somebody throwing a fucking magnetic sticker on my car constitutes somebody attacking me. You don't approach when we see small kids. How you doing, man? In cars. Uh, and for that distance, I didn't, uh, didn't notice, obviously. Again, who cares? But what it does is it gives the angry bones cover. It gives them a chance to pre pretend to be the victim, to be a white knight, to scream and yell, and pretend and lie and say we attacked, which obviously we did. All right, next video. Last one. Easter short horror film chat. Lock the fuck in here. Rachel for the three. Seems like the guy that guy to tell you uh to tell you track that track you down for putting an item out of the store in the back of the uh, putting an item back in a store in the wrong place. Petra Hyde for the four. Uh, I know you'll say it put it in the game stash chat. I know there's a higher chance of you reading this. Final season two. They obviously have done a lot with season two. Is the finals actually better? Fish for the three. First time sending bits to anybody want to say I already read that. Looks like there's no Easter egg hunt this year. Relax, Riley. It's not like it's gonna rain all day. Besides, Mom's not even back from the store yet. Don't tell me that's the fucking Easter bunny. Buddy's just wearing gardening gloves. Jasper, look. I bet mom's back. She must have hidden Easter eggs. Uh, the Easter bunny would have hidden the Easter eggs. Duh. What the fuck do you mean your mom hid the Easter eggs? The Easter bunny pooped them out and they were filled with jelly beans. Not really hidden now, are they? It's just a kind of a trail so going. Many. Oh. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Oh. I'm gonna go downstairs. Okay. It's not even a challenge, dude. This is not hidden eggs. They're just fucking scattered on the floor. Dude, I remember I used to do Easter egg hunts, and there was one time where I didn't find one of the eggs, and I found it, like, six months later, and the candy inside of it was, like, rotting or stale. Dude, it was disgusting. It was, like, an open, it was, like, an open chocolate bar. Or, like, Hershey's Kiss. Ugh. Did I eat it? No, it was like stale as shit. Not like rotten, but it was old. Very realistic scream. Jasper? Jasper. Is the Easter Bunny real? Yeah. 100%. Six foot tall bunny that lays plastic eggs. Jasper, are you okay? Yeah, just like Santa. <laughs> he gets decapitated. <laughs> Jasper, behind you. I would run away. He's about to shove that carrot in his head. Oh, no. 
I don't think you would be able to stab somebody with a carrot. Bro, is she really not gonna run, or? You just dropped all the eggs. Now you're gonna have to go pick them back up. It would be covered in blood. Riley, Jasper, I'm home. How do people find the scary? I don't know. Escaped murderer loose in your area, last seen in a bunny costume. How convenient. Bruh. 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 <laughs> That was the wor that was so bad. That was like that was like the worst. I, I don't I don't even think I've, I can compare it to any other Easter horror film because I don't think I've ever seen an Easter horror film. Do they have they have multiple ones? They have Killer Rabbit, Rachel for the Three, and it's just the same mask. Seems like the guy. Uh, uh, bro seems like the kind of guy to uh, tell you track you down for putting an item in the store. I already read that. Oh my god. Short term memory loss, I guess. Anyways, chat. That was a W stream. We're going to call that there. We're going to upload on YouTube literally right now um, for anybody that wants to go fucking tune in. But um, I hope you all had fun watching. I had a fun time streaming. We had a great chat, great audience say Happy Easter in the chat. Uh, we had a fucking lot of people pull up. I didn't really think this many people would be here for Easter. But, uh, you know, appreciate everybody that popped in. Hope you guys had a fun time watching. I had a fun time streaming. Uh, we're going to upload on YouTube literally right now for anybody that wants to fucking... Go tune in. Uh, just posted the worst punishments as a kid. Uh, Tommy NFG react. Pretty good. Uh, but yeah. You know, I'll be live tomorrow. Uh, 4.30 EST. We're going to be doing unbans now. And then we're going to be doing the animal tier list. on what animals I could beat in a fight. Uh, Tuesday, I'm not live. Wednesday, Scary Games. Thursday is going to be Rainbow Six and Doki Doki. And maybe Hoophobia. Uh, otherwise, we're going to do it next Thursday uh, with the other streamers. Friday's react. Saturday is going to be ready or not. And Sim Games Sundays reacts next Monday. We're gonna do um, Man of Madon. You're right for the sub, but yeah, hope you all had fun watching. I had a fun time streaming. Go watch the YouTube video uh, that I just posted, and I will catch y'all uh, tomorrow. Who do we raid today? Um. Let's fucking raid. Uh, who do we want to raid? Raid fucking stable Ronaldo. All right, I haven't raided him in a fucking while, but yeah, hope you all had fun. Uh, and I will catch y'all soon. We are going to raid in five.